How's it going? <laughs> this ain't over. Um, <clears throat> Mom, I want cookies. Right, well, uh, first of all... No dice. Uh, first of all, my name is uh, Paul Kersey. Uh, it's been about five years. And we're doing this this clearly filmed in the 1970s movie released in 1982 called Death Wish 2. You can't prove that book. <laughs> Actually, I can. I'm still rocking that 1970s haircut, even though it's 1982. I wish they had gone with the original title for Death Wish 2. They were gonna they were gonna call it Death Vengeance. They were gonna call it Death Wish 2, The Secret of Views. Ah. <laughs> no, no, because it's the eighties, Death Wish 2, Electric Boogaloo. I'm about to say that shit. <laughs> Death Wish 2. The Nightman. I don't know the night. It'll be something like no. Just, no if it was something it, unmarketable as hell, yeah. No, if you want something unmarketable, what if they went with this title? And this would be such a title for today. The man, no, a man with a death wish. Um, Jesus Christ, a death wish. I, you know yeah. what, man? It is or, Dire- or, directed or, by Greta Gerwig. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> or, or you know what? Because they would do the same shit like they did with Rambo. Instead of calling it Death Wish, they just call it Paul or Curse. Just, just call it Cursey. Cursey. Him on the front cover like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I love that Charles. I love that Charles Bronson. Hey, we got is, those covers for those movies now. Hey, yo, Charles Bronson is one of the most manliest men ever. But he True. always holds a motherfucking rifle. Like he's really unsure if he wants to shoot the person in front of him. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, man. But, I feel you know my mom every once in a while says that I, I, I think she's, she feels I watched too much TV as a kid because besides the Death Wish movies, there was one. Charles Bronson movie that I watched religiously back in the day, and it was called Assassination. Assassination is a great movie. Yeah, I really love that movie. It was yeah. a it was a wild movie, but I enjoyed it, and I was like, wow, man, Charles Bronson is fucking dope. Man, you, you had a better childhood than I did. You were watching Assassination. I mean, don't get me wrong, my childhood was was I mean, full of emotional abuse, but uh, <laughs> I did, but I but I did get to watch Stripes a lot. <laughs> so, Stripes is great, man. I mean. But, you know, we, we had the VHS tape of it, so like I was watching the the uncensored strikes, ah, which ah. Whew, uh, real, like very real quick, very formative of a young <laughs> child. Right, real quick, real quick, gentlemen. First of all, uh, gentlemen, <laughs> where are our manners? Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Three Black Keys. <laughs> We're doing Death like, Wish, and our I, I want to welcome back. You know, uh, like a guy who has been a part of the 3BG family for a very long time. Very long time. Very, very long Mm -hmm. time. And, you know, we're we're definitely happy to have you here. Uh, Shout out to our boy, Struggle VHS, Mo Porne. Say what's up. What's up? That that goes to show you how long it's been because I haven't used the porn name in... Like seven years. When I first heard when I first heard your name, uh, like was like was like when I first heard your name was like that. I was like Mo Porne. I was like, dude, I, I fucking love that name. But it's never. It, it was literally never Porne. That was a D thing. <laughs> I, no, see, and I like that. Ever since D told me that, I said, yo, I'm calling him that. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, and and, and it, I was like, it's like, it's like you had to do it like. Mm. No, you know, you know, he got that one. You know, he got that one aunt who you kind of let let get away with, like calling you a stupid nickname because that's what they've always done. Yeah, it's you. It's what you guys are. You're my, you're my silly aunt who calls me what's not my name. But you know what? They, it's okay. I'll let them do it. <laughs> I feel there's something to be said. Like all of us jumping into podcasting around the same time, when we were all trying to figure this shit out. You right. Know, we were exactly. All wanting- you know, nowadays anybody jumps in on this and it's like, all right, cool. But like, just to be there during that golden time, all of us were doing that. It, it was very much a fun time. And, and and I would argue that that going back and listening to a very early episode of Three Black Geeks or a very early episode of Drunk on VHS or even No Budget Nightmares is probably equally as embarrassing for for any of us. <laughs> I I I call it 2000 and what I call it early 2016 2010. I think it's 2016 on down 
is what right. I call yeah. listenable yeah. three black geeks. Because before that, woo, it's not rough. It's like, why y'all copying people? Or you know, why y'all loud? Why is it? Why is Erisa sleep? Is he even in the country? You know, still, you know, questions that can be easily answered, but not. Uh, but, so, today, uh, but today, uh, folks, uh, we're, we're, we're delving into Death Wish 2, and um, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, like, it, it's, it's Globus came up to Chuck Bronson and said, hey, you know what you did? We want a franchise back. <laughs> Here's some money. Boom. Death Wish 2 happens, and I'm like, well, I mean, well, here's, right, cool. here, here, here's the thing. De- Death Wish 2 is, an, is a near- perfect sequel you know like the amount of of work that they had to do for death wish 2 is nominal at best they basically took the script from death wish 1 put it in la and said all right work around this you know what's the difference what's the difference between death wish 1 and death wish 2 almost nothing you know crimes have as serious it's not as serious it's yeah it, yeah yeah it's true it's not as serious you know but like you know they they toss they toss some some free gratuitous nudity out there and you know and and, and <laughs> as splattered. you do in the 80s okay. yeah as you did in the 80s absolutely you know splattered it with blood you know um i, I so the other day the other night i was watching it and uh it was like 12 30 in the morning and I'm getting ready to go to bed and I get and my phone dings and it's John Cross because of course it is. He's the only person who ever messages me that late. And uh, he's he's high as a kite because he discovered weed. And um, <laughs> and we and we which by the way, which by the way, high John Cross might be the best thing ever. I mean, if you if you like if you like sober John Cross, high John Cross is the jam exponentially better um <laughs> and we start talking we start talking about about the the movies and john and it starts off kind of serious you know john's like did you know that all of the odd number movies take place in new york and all of the even number movies take place in la and i said oh well that explains a lot about you know and we and we start having the most ridiculous conversation. We start talking about like Death Wish twenty two, Rapists Paradise, and <laughs> you know, and, you know, and and, uh, and and how and how it's how that one's starring the skeleton of Charles Bronson, and you know, and uh, and, and I forget where where it went from there. We started talking about like. Death Wish twenty five, which they which they fired the skeleton of Charles Bronson and replaced it with like Ar- Arthur Vislu or whatever his name is Arnold. I think it's Arnold Vislu, um, which is a deep cut for most people who aren't like movie nuts. But you know, look him up; he's done some really terrible movies. Um, you know, and 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 so next thing I know, it's quarter to two in the morning. I'm dying of laughter. You know, and me and John are, and I look at the clock, I'm like, John, I got to go to bed, man. I got to work in the morning. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, he goes, I just want to tell you that I appreciate you indulging this, this little improv that started off with us seriously talking about Death Wish and moving on to us finishing with Death Wish 25 <laughs> starring, <laughs> you know, starring the wig of William Shatner or something like that. Oh my God. It was, it was one of the funniest conversations I've had in ages you know what i it's kind of funny that you bring up that they kept on using charles wrong i was going to say in this movie and you know what look i look, look, I am, they, look, they did like five ages. they did I like am, five death wish movies and by the time they were done with it they were weekend at burning burning him i mean come on look, 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 look. i'm not ages at all but how old is this nigga Right, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, now, do you, now, do you, no, hold on, hold on. Now, now, do you have a shot at Jill Ireland, the woman who he's supposed to be fucking dating in this one? Like, oh god, he, because okay, I, got I, got, yeah. I got him and his daughter. Yeah, the one on the left. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the blonde is, is Jill Ireland. That's supposed to be the woman who he's like in a relationship with. This man is already eighty-four years old. 
and 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 she and she don't look a day over. Oh, I mean, back in the eighties, everybody looked older than they did. So she's probably like twenty eight. She's probably like twenty eight, but she looks thirty seven. You know, even the daughter, who I think is supposed to be sixteen, looks twenty five. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, shout out to it's the, the more you know what, Mo, I was gonna ask you. Yeah, I was gonna like ask we, you, Mo, because we um, clear, because, like we clear. Sorry, I was just gonna say we clearly got a else. No, put that picture back up. Like we clearly got an <laughs> else world, uh, Cagney and Lacey thing going on over I'm, here. Man, it really is. Man, I'm sorry. What was that comment? What was that? Com- <laughs> Sixty one. Yeah. 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 Wow. He looked every bit of 61. And I got to really be did. really, this is 61 in 1980 what? 82. Yeah. Hey, you and saw he, how he ran after my man that stole, that he thought stole his wallet. You saw, that's a 61-year-old run right there. He he was that's winded 60, when he got no, in the alley. That, no, that is a 60-year-old stunt double run. I'm about to see. You really think I'm going to run that <laughs> fist? Come down. In fact, okay, okay, okay. okay, in, fact, okay, like, okay. in fact, I was the one who told Ice T on the set of New Jack City, "You don't run." <laughs> okay. run. No, here, here, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at morning. Police at my door. I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at Bronson's IMDb page. Okay, so this 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 was what in, in early '80s, '82, '82, and he's 61. The last. Death Wish movie came out in '94. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> but like, no, but Mo, you know, hold on. So 74 this... years old, Bronson was in. <laughs> yeah, but, but get this. Like, get Take this it though. on. Like, but get this though. Get this though. Pro- okay, get on, this sorry. though. The, like this, this sequel is what five years after the first. The first one came out in '74. Yeah. '74. That's why I said this sequel looks more like a 70s movie, a late 70s movie than an early for sure. 80s movie. Yeah, for okay, sure. Okay, so, all right, I got a question. Chris, there isn't another Man on Fire coming out, is there? I mean, Denzel died. After- I mean, not in Man on Fire, I mean Equalizer. My bad, Equalizer. Yeah, yeah. Equalizer. Oh, my God. oh, my God, can there be another Equalizer movie? There's a yeah. third one coming yeah, out? there's a third one. They oh, that's, ex- that's exciting. Trailer, trailer's out and everything. Denzel is the black Charles Bronson now. Not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Now hold on. Not, hold on. He's, he's not quite bow legged enough yet. Now, now, if he does equalize a four, then we can start talking. No, man. not not quite. But a uh, hey, Chris, not quite. But uh, he's knocking on. <laughs> oh, he's knocking on it. Because <laughs> you know who I think is going to going to do action way too long past his prime. I really feel like it's either going to be a race between Shamar Moore. Or Morris Chestnut. First one of them are going to do an Shamar action Moore movie. Is... No, Chris. One of them going to do an action movie. We're going to be like, stop. No, 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 no. Shamar stop. Moore. Shamar Moore is too busy. <laughs> Shamar Moore is too busy slumming it on SWAT. He's going to do that shit. He's going to be. He's going to be. Uh, my he's man going to be Bo- what I call no, no. half shaped for the rest no, of no, his no, life. No, 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 no. He's going to be like my man uh, 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 from from Blue Bloods. Uh, 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 Magna PI, he gonna be him. Oh, Fucking man. Tom Selleck. He gonna be Tom, Tom Selleck. Selleck. He gonna Boy, be Black a... Tom Selleck right there. He gonna be slumming it on TV doing cop roles for the rest Blue, of his damn career. Blue Bloods, that that's some quality copaganda right there. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> man. Complete with Donnie like, do Wahlberg. You know, do you know how it? You know how like like I told this to Chris the other day. Do you know how much it boils my blood to watch? Law and Order SVU, and I'm going beat the shit out there. Beat the shit out there. That's what I'm talking about. Don't mess with the cops. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the kicker, it, it it creates a certain Good amount man. of of. I, look, look. This is what I found out, Mo, and I and it's being a critic. I learned this. It's good television. It is good television. It's good television, you know, and and that and that and that cognitive dissonance is real strong. So. It is, isn't it? And that's the thing that gets me. Even because I, I'm because I'm because you know me, I always try to test myself with shit I hate or shit I disagree with, and try to not. I won't even say try to. Well, make that's why you watch Birth of a Nation. Oh shit! Look, motherfucker, I, yeah, I can't yeah, do that yeah, shit. Yeah, I can't yeah, do that yeah. shit. Liam Neeson, Charles nah. Bronson. Today. Yeah, no, yeah. he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, 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 no. no. Probably. No. Hold on, hold no, on. He's no, not. the closest. The closest. You saw Taken Liam... Three, buddy. No, 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 no. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say that, Chris. The closest that that Liam Neeson got to that is if we got a Taken Four, Five, Six, Seven. Taken Three was too much. Two, you were pushing. Taken Three was too much. No, no Taken Three was definitely too much. I will look. I will. Taken definitely had the potential to be the next. 
Death Wish series it did. for sure. The only thing yeah. that was missing, the only thing that was missing, of course, was he he approaches the bad guy in a room, and all it takes is for him to say, "Hey, what's that over there?" And he just pulls out a. <laughs> Boy, how we were like denied it? that. <laughs> now let's think about it this way. Now think about it this way, Eris. <laughs> we didn't get the movie of so Charles weird. Bronson. Not Charles Bronson, Liam Neeson <laughs> and his buddy walking down the streets of I don't know <laughs> Romania. Bop, 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 bop. They're, you forget the, they were walking we were down the streets of Rome. That. No, <laughs> yes, yes, Chris, we were definitely denied it. They were walking down the streets of Romania with freaking life bars and score points and shit. I gotta be honest with you, man. I feel we were robbed of Charles Bronson teaming up with a black guy before he died. I'm just saying. That. I we, feel we, we, like you could have got that. I don't know who he would teamed up with. I mean, in, in, fair, in, in fairness, I in fair, yeah, it would have to be Fred Williamson. Uh, in, in fairness, though, I mean, Bronson is half a black guy anyway. So, you know. <laughs> Yo, no, all right, all right, real quick, Eris. Boy, Liam Neeson. The only thing that is missing for Liam Neeson is like, I don't know, he goes back home to Ireland and his, and his brother, I don't know, Clive Owen is there. They have a fight. <laughs> but the reason why they're Colin fighting Farrell. is because is because there's a gang, yes, led by Colin Farrell. They're go. like messing up the whole neighborhood. And then finally, Liam Neeson cleans the whole, the whole thing up and it becomes Death Wish 3. But oh. here's the thing I don't look, look, I will say this he is mirroring, mirroring, mirroring his career a lot more to Bronson because remember, Bronson, we say Death Wish. But Bronson was doing a whole lot of bullshit ad- bullshit uh, action movies between last... 1980 and 1992 uh, oh, 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 that oh. wasn't Death Wish. Before and died. Liam Neeson has <laughs> quite a few of these good Bronson, action movies. It's, like, it's like Liam Neeson, oh, like, oh, sorry, I was just going to mention that Liam Neeson had, I would say, two opportunities to turn these movies into a series like Death Wish. And that would have been Unknown or Run All Night. Run all no. night. Run all night was never going to do that. Yeah, so yeah. It was never going to do it, but I'm saying, but imagine if he did. Oh, I mean, held the God. first death wish. You could have just kept that one movie. Yeah, uh, but you know, Charles Bronson before he died, he did three movies called Family of Cops. It was a trilogy. <laughs> that was his last thing that he did before he died. I seen the first one. I was like, bro, you are breach of faith. Family of Cops two. Yo, he was slumming it at that point. I'm like, bro. Yeah, yeah. Be- between 1980. Yeah, between 1980 and 1999, when he stopped working, the words TV movie appears quite a few times <laughs> on his on his IMDb page, for sure. And, you, and it is me to say to somebody, an aging actor like him, that he would be in situations where you would have, like on The Simpsons, where you say, like, like, we meet Charles Bronson in his new movie, Death Wish 9. I wish I was dead. I wish I was <laughs> dead. I wish I was dead. There's a nah. reason why. Now, nah, now nah, I want to I want to take a vacation to Bronson, Missouri. Mom, <laughs> I want coo- Mom, I want cookies. Hey, no dice. The, the older I get, over. the older <laughs> I get, no dice. No dice makes me die laughing. I I <laughs> I honestly believe that's one of the funniest fucking jokes in Simpsons history. The Bronson, Missouri. It's Bronson. without a doubt. Like that is a joke that is so catered to us. Like it's the so pointing is okay. saying this ain't over. This ain't over. For me, what I, I don't know. The one it was I think it was the one that came before that episode. It was just one line. One line that he said, and I said, That's Charles Bronson for life. I shut him. Well, yeah. that was like a Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson on the Andy Griffith show would have been. Listen, if that was ever a thing, I would watch the Andy Griffith show every day. No, right? It's fiction show. Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, look. this needed to be a thing. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, man. Um, I put, it, I even put it in the group chat. Jim Carrey playing Chuck Bronson had me in fucking tears. Yo, <laughs> when he spun that gun around, man, he and butted that dude with the gun. <laughs> hey, 
book. Let the kid in. <laughs> I'm mad that everybody has the exact same Charles Bronson um, uh, uh, Ax- impression, Ax- and he doesn't sound nothing like that when you really think about it. No, he doesn't. You, you, like, well, I mean, come on. You know, like, like ha- half of this movie, he sounds exactly like that. Kind of. Kind of. You watch Death Wish too, and yeah, like when we do it, it's a bit more exaggerated. But when you watch the movie, because I watched the movie, and even I tried to do it, I'm like, okay, let me see if I could like subdue it. I'm like, like, well, uh, like that actually does sound like a good idea. You know, it, it's like I want to exaggerate it more. I really do. Yeah. No, it's it's an it's an impression. It's an impression that the the further you take it, the better it sounds. Yes. You know, you you want you want those pauses. You want that monotone, mom. I want cookies. Like it's almost like good. Like, here, like here was a good. Like here was like a great. A, sort of like here was a, a great example. On, um, um, type he, of, um, like here was a great example of that, Mo. Like early on in the movie, like I think within the first ten minutes of the movie, when um, like when Bronson meets with his uh, like with his girl that he's in a relationship with again. I don't know how anybody buys that, but whatever. She, when she, she said that she had an idea for a series of of like criminal rehabilitation programs, and. I go huh, that like well that does sound like a very good idea, but I have a, I have a better idea. It's called a gun and me shooting it. <laughs> that is you know, my rehabilitation this, program. Th- this right? movie reminded me like I totally forgot that his 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 the, his daughter went mute after being horribly raped in the first movie, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I can't, yeah. I can't believe like okay let, yeah let's talk let's check. Ever. Let's I'm fucking, sorry, what? Let's talk about his daughter for a second. No, man. no, 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 no. Real quick, I'm sorry. Let's pause for a second. Let's pause for a second. That woman, Jill Ireland, was Charles Bronson's real life wife. Oh my god. Number two. Wow. Number two, and I need y'all to show respect for this. She's actually in her 40s. She was born in thir- 1936. Wow. Hmm. She was a fox. Oh, she's only she's only half his age. Yeah, died before Bronson too. That kind of yeah, sucks. unfortunately. Yeah, sadly, How crazy is that? Yeah, she what? died at fifty four years old. That's actually so she, hold on, hold on. Well, I gotta, this, I, this, I gotta. Like, what are the odds? I gotta ask. Was she raped and murdered by a bunch of hooligans? Abs- uh, oh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, the hooligans yeah, the was hooligan. called breast cancer. Yeah. I know. Bad. Bad taste. Bad taste joke, but you know, led what? by these guys. <laughs> yeah, I blame. I blame Lawrence Fishburne. I love, I love a young Larry Fishburne. First yes, of all, I like, like we gotta like call for, him Larry Fishburne. First of all, gentlemen, um, for for Lawrence Fishburne's uh. Per- so, no, he was Lawrence. Well, he was Lawrence in this. He one. was Lawrence. He was Lawrence Fishburne the third, the third. In this movie. But what I liked is the image that I'm seeing of him here. I'm like, oh, so what we're looking at is the prototype of what would eventually become uh, Cowboy Carl and uh, mm-hmm. and Pee Wee. Yeah, this is Cowboy Carl's um crackhead. This is cousin. Pro- this is prototype look. I mean, think about it. This is crackhead cousin. This is crackhead Kevin. No, 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 no. This is Carl. No, this is Cal- Kareem. No, no, no. This is Cowboy. Cal- Cal- <laughs> no, D, D. This is Cowboy Carl Alpha before the Pee Wee. Look, look, man. He went man, from Pee Wee. Man, I was on the street, Jack. <laughs> He went from they killed cornbread. He didn't even do anything. <laughs> <to this. laughs> I'm sick of you, Chris. Uh, hey. uh, oh my Thank God. You, and then after you the dry, and, then, and then after and then after the Pee Wee stuff was over, my man went back to Watts and had to take care of a young a young urban youth named well, Trey. Also, also, before this, he was he was he was in the shit that is called Nob in Apocalypse Now. So you know, and you know what, D mm. and, and D has to be the ass asshole. And his and his daughter got piped by by Brian Puffer, so I just want to throw that Ugh. out there. I just want to throw that out there. That was yeah. a thing that D remembered, if nobody else did. No, nope, I remember it. I was like, you, you think I'd forgotten about Montana Fishburne? I mean, come exactly. on. Exactly. <laughs> the definition of hustling backwards. You're supposed to get famous from it, not the you know other what? person get famous from it. Like, right? you know what? Do you know what? Like, D, did you did you did you? No, I did not. D can say this with full chest. Did not touch myself to her. Because <laughs> I, I like dog. I, she looks I too much like that. Laura Fishburne in the face. That's not dog. happening. I wasn't oh, looking at the well, face. It was the, well, it was the moment she turned around and we just saw the ass and I said, woof. Yeah, exactly. You know what I, you know what I said? 
I want to take. I said wolf. I I want to take the red pill. Oh, what did you wonders for my career? You know what? My life has done so much. Oh man, Pumper Dance was 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 hot for for half a second. Uh, Rappers was like taking pictures with him. It was cool. That was about it. You got a good year and a half. You got a good year and a half famous off of it. That's that's and like real talk in and, and, porno world. So you know. And, and, and no then bullshit. what did he do? And then what did he do after that? Cracked eggs over chicks' foreheads while smashing them. And that was the end I of his career. I thought that was one of the greatest. I thought that was one of the greatest things ever. Him smashing the egg on a girl's head as he's having sex with her, because Ryan Pumper has just proven to me that he's a deviant. Don't care that he's a deviant and always will be a deviant. <laughs> And you wonder why all the other like why his other Chaos uh, black, Asian like, like, like you like you ever wonder why his other uh, his other black uh, co-workers never talk about him. Also, for, no, I, I really think that's about it. What I do they mean, call I, that? You know, like when you punch him in the back of the head, that's donkey punch. <laughs> if you smash if you smash an egg over their over their head, you know what's that like a chicken punch? Easy. Breakfast. Oh, yes, it's breakfast. <laughs> it's over easy. I like that one too. Over easy. <laughs> breakfast over easy. <laughs> Good lord. I look. Sunny side up, bitch. Let's Sunny go. side up. <laughs> hey man, look. Can I? I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta understand what we call this. Air, 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 air is what we call an Eaglewood scramble. The Inglewood Scrambles. <laughs> Speaking of Inglewood Scrambles, yo, what is up with these movies and the way they go so like they go zero to one hundred when they about to rape these women? Like the maid got raped. They just, I'm like, whoa, no way. Oh, now, Mo, wait, 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 Mo, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I got a good wait. question. Please no, ask. Wait, ask. Wait, hold wait, on, hold wait, on. Wait, I want to hear the question for me. Mo, I got a good question. <laughs> Would this be because uh, uh, directors from that time really drew inspiration from porn being so graphical? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot to be said there. Um, yeah, there was a lot of porn directors. I, like, well, there was a lot of crossover too. You got to remember that there were a lot of there were a lot of guys who were secretly doing porn, uh, directing porn, and then coming and doing. No pun intended there, but um, doing uh, mainstream movies. Uh, you know, on this. Uh, well, I would say on the side, porn was their side gig. But yeah, I mean, there there probably was a lot of that going on. I, I don't know what the actual numbers would be. I, I'm not that much of an expert, but you know, I mean, I'm sure Michael Winner probably wasn't uh, doing that. But here's the thing: Michael Winner Winner is a goddamn deviant, like in the best possible way. Like I say, ain't he? Expo- he's not an exploitation director, but he's he did a lot of he did a lot of. He did a lot of action, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah, so he yeah. he under he understood the importance of gratuitous nudity for sure, and and this one is full of gratuitous. I mean, I would say full. There are three or four scenes of like serious gratuitous nudity, and unfortunately, they're all taking place while somebody's getting raped. So, I have you a know, I have a question. See, I know, I know, Chris. I know you said it was zero to zero to one hundred when it came to the uh, <laughs> the sexual assaults, but. <laughs> How about the how about the 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 zero to a thousand of we have these 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 urban toughs right and and urban toughs and of all of the white people that they see at this happy ass event they they look at Charles Bronson and they decide yeah we're gonna take this man's money he's gonna get some ice cream let's go ahead and snatch the well, two dollars from him. To be fair, Paul Kersey made the mistake of flashing money, as you know, rich white people do. Um, and How was he flashing money? He was literally he hey, was he it. took he out a lot of money. On, you know what he put out there? You know what he said? This is what Larry First Burn said. Hey, you see that, Jack? That's got to be eight dollars, <laughs> right? It was like not even a ten, a five. I'm fairly certain it was a five. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it was a two dollar bill. There was a Jefferson. In there. <laughs> there was a Jefferson in there. No, uh-huh. that had to been at least that had to been at least like like a buck and a half in his hand or hey, something. Hey, hey, my man got the cigarette hanging out like he about to fucking work the shit out of a fucking engine. 
<laughs> that nigga's every look. That nigga every bit twenty six years old, man. <laughs> I, what I'm what I'm amazed about this outfit is the mesh shirt over the winter jacket. It's bro, like, make you up your mind, bro. Yeah, Mo, he, Mo, exactly. Mo, 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 listen, uh, as one Charlie Murphy said, you know, this was that time in the eighties. You motherfuckers was wearing some weird shit. My yeah, dog. My man got a dog collar behind him, so you know you're right. You're right. Yeah, nah, there's, some, nah, nah, there's nah, something kinky out. going on there. Again, Check it's out 80, Paul. It, it's it's 82, but it's every no, no, bit no. of them hanging on to the last bit of the 70s. Well, that's how it goes with every generation. It's like it's usually like by the time you know, like so, like for 82, 83, you're still seeing a lot of semblances of the 70s. It was the same with the 90s, 92, 93. Yeah. You're still seeing a ton of the 80s yeah. stuff. I mean, honestly, really, when it comes to the 90s, the only thing that was doing anything different uh, in the early 90s was hip hop. You know, uh, they were they were getting their dance on big time by that point. Um, Or what I like to call it, party rap, you know. (laughs) And, and yeah, and don't even tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, it was like, that's the the perfect fucking name for it. Party rap. Yeah, that's what it was, you know. Or happy rap. <laughs> happy, yeah, happy rap, exactly. You know, everybody was bumping and grinding and, you know, and, and not. And I ain't got no problem with that. That's some of my favorite yeah. stuff, but. Uh, uh, oh, Mo, check it out, check it out. But all the, all the other music and movies and stuff was still very much entrenched in the 80s. You know what, Mo? Shout out to your race, man. Look at my man's shoulder hair matching with the rest of the outfit. <laughs> you know what, Mo? That is y'all. Y'all got that down, man. I don't know how y'all get the. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you, I'm, I mean, I got, I, I, I got sleeves on right now. But if I didn't, you'd see my shoulder hair matches as well. You know. I mean, look, look, it, it, look. You know what wild y'all too. Now, to be fair, genius. They still his wallet. Get the ID identification. I'm like, all right, that makes sense. Scatter. You know? No, they scatter. fucking scatter when yes. they ran. <laughs> they scatter when they ran. You know, cursey and that dude fighting the alley and stuff. At, and you blatant stunt double when he jacks him up against the fucking wall and shit. Of like, course, that's yeah. The whole ass stunt double. Yeah. But like, it was genius how they entered his house. Because it, it made sense and stuff, but it was just like, yo, they're taking turns raping her, and they're like, no, I'm first. I'm first. I'm like, whoa, hey, hey, yeah, hey. Yo, <laughs> I love the hyper-aggressiveness that came from uh, like the dude with the mesh shirt, because he saw how the other guy was about to go first. <laughs> he just rips his shit off, yeets like all of his all of his boys out of the way, and I'm like, <laughs> yo, it's just a maid, my guy. Chill out, like calm she down. Right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, she alright. Like y'all going at it a little overrated as fuck. But now here's the kicker, though, right? And then like the flip side to it though is like with Cursey and his daughter get there, they take the daughter. You know, no witnesses and stuff, right? And it's broad just daylight. Like, broad daylight. Also, bang bus shit. The way they take. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, bang bus! Holy shit, I haven't heard that Yo, in years. Yo, I got a, I got a hundred, I got a hundred bucks right here. Just want to ask you a few questions. Ten Bro, this was like aggra- Steve, Mo, this was aggressive bang bus. They ain't asked no questions. They ain't asking nothing. They asking shit. They just snatch your ass up. <laughs> I hate to say it like this, yo. The daughter just yeeted herself out the window. No, <laughs> did you love how the how the how she played possum? She sat in there and just let let him open her shirt, let her, like let them do whatever. Right when the, right when we were about to see, well, we weren't about to see it, but right when we were about to hear penetration, she said, "Oh shit, let's go." <laughs> I'm gonna go. Dog, this is. She just got, she just like yeeted herself. I'm like, oh, I do get and ran. <laughs> It's all open window and was like, Tch. no, she hit the open window was like, yeah, hooey. <laughs> <laughs> the Wilhelm scream. I, I mean, look, that. look, did I feel I bad need, for, did I, I feel, ah, <laughs> errors, errors, errors. Look, I can see their parachutes. They're okay. That was like, oh, oh, yo, 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 look, that's probably why I appreciate Tubi movies. Tubi, Tubi movies be doing that same shit. 
David, David, two people would be doing that same shit with the jump cuts, and I'd be dying laughing. I'm like, good old Global glo- global, 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 Globus nonsense. I'm with it. Let's go. Classic element of physical comedy. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> I'm told you. There was going to be something that happens where it's perfect. Classic. Classic Ken. <laughs> Elemental. And I really think they did. And I really do think. Honestly, honestly, I really think they did that shit because let's be real. The first one was so damn intense and like it was super intense. It, yes. Like the first one was super intense, and here you're thinking, "Oh God, they're about to do this shit again. Are we nah. really about to get this again?" Uh, wow, levity, self yeet. Okay. Honestly, it's it, honestly that's the only that's the only thing that really differentiates this movie from the first one is is there's a lot of unintentional comedy in this one, whereas the first one was so seventies and dark hey, look, in New York and, and you know what and yeah. and I understood that's what lit you know that's what made it such a better movie and plus you know right. there was no big time movie that asked that question to a bigger audience of maybe sometimes you got it actually asked asked the question. Where as opposed to this movie was like, fuck them. Well, <laughs> this movie did ask a question. It did ask a question. Go downtown, take your forty-five. No, no, no. Chris, Chris, Chris is right. This movie did ask a question. It asked, "What's the stupidest thing we could get Lawrence Fishburne to wear, and actually let him agree to it?" But and also, man, they they won. He but kept the glasses love. on during the rape. That's all D got to say. Well, I mean, I will give him that. He kept the glasses on during the I rape. Think, no, and I think it's I don't know if I should give him no, points D, for that, but I no D. I think I think Lawrence uh, kept the glasses on because number one, he picked out that outfit himself. Oh, number I'm sure. Two, number two, number two. I think he knew what kind of movie this was and figured. Do I really want to show my face in this? My mama don't he, want to see me in this. He was sitting there thinking, you know, how say much, my mama going to see this movie. <laughs> he, he was sitting there thinking, how much like Shabadoo can I look like? You know, Man, How much cocaine <laughs> can I do? How, how much, no, Should how I much feel Shab- good in this role? <laughs> the, actually, no, Bo, the question is, how much Shabadoo can I look like before Shabadoo even <laughs> gets <laughs> Because this was two years before That's break. True. That's true. Man, that man walked out. Come on, Eris. And the words good. He walked down. All he did was walk down Crenshaw. Was like him. That's the first I'm gonna dress like. <laughs> no, no, I, feel, I feel. I feel. Lawrence Fishburne was up for fucking <laughs> breaking, and then Adolfo Shabadu rolled into the fucking damn, rolled, rolled into the fucking <laughs> go out for the role, and it was like, well, we're going with that guy. And Lawrence Fishburne was like, fuck. He having Ice T be the DJ and rapper of that movie is it, it still still brings a, a smile. Y'all guys are shooting too high. Y'all guys are shooting too high. Golden Globe has told him to go in the background and do this. You mean the uh, That's all <laughs> so no? In other words, in other words, go in the back and do the Van Dam. Got yeah, you. Basically. We uh we 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 all know that if this movie was made like three years later there would have been a scene where they walked around a corner and it just would have it, like, they wouldn't have even drawn attention to it. It just in the background, there would have been a scene, a fucking boogaloo shrimp dancing with a broom, you know, doing his thing. And nobody would have thought of it. Nobody would have thought twice about it. Well, you got to put a strip also on. Mo. You got to have a strip Mo, in the corner to offset no. it. So you know. wait, Mo. There also would have been more. There's more to it. See, this movie was made like three years, like like two or three years later, bro. There would have been a freaking bloodbath on Venice Beach. Well, that's true. That's true. I mean, but also the the, the bigger question was, do you believe in God? <laughs> do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe yeah, in Jesus? Yeah. You're about to meet him. <laughs> I like how that was a cold ass line. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> you know what's even colder? The fact that my man was like, oh god, you're gonna kill me, Flip. He went for that. I was like, yo, Paul, don't cool. Don't kill the oh shit, Jesus, man. I just, hey, I, don't kill him. Yo, there's something to be said about villain. That's always what because let's be real. Even in real life, that happens. I don't know if you ever could you ever see those videos of like people that have like the ring videos on their thing. <laughs> And it, showed, yeah. it was it was a video of a guy. He was parking his car, and it, it like teenagers. They were trying to rob him, and my man pulled out a gun and started shooting. And all you hear was, like, "Don't shoot me, bro! Don't shoot me!" I'm like, "Nigga, you were trying to rob you the gun. What do you think was going to happen?" That's why when dude was crying, that cursed that gunpoint. I'm like, "Bro, 
you can't rape his, you know, you did rape, you know, the nanny and come on, dog. Like, and, and cause the daughter to to kill herself. So don't forget, I, dead I, end, let, dog. let's uh, let, let, let's let's take a moment to admire this outfit here. Yes. Because, like, you know, you're a criminal. You should probably not draw attention to yourself. And Homeboy's over here wearing a high-vis vest, <laughs> you know, with arguably one of the stupidest haircuts I've ever seen. And and I come from a history of punk rock, so I've seen plenty of stupid haircuts. But this one this one takes the fucking cake. Nah, you know, fucking, fucking pants tucked into his boots. <laughs> Let's keep it let's keep it really real here, Mo. See, villains in this movie, they have to identify oh, yeah. themselves yeah. Yeah, for they the need audience to, to recognize them because as much as I would love to see, you know, these characters in different outfits cuz they'll ju- they would be just as ridiculous as the one they already wore. Um no, they they have to keep the same outfits because remember, this isn't a movie. This is technically the uh, the pro- the prototype of a video game. Oh yeah, pretty much is. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. feel bad because this is thirty minutes into the movie, and I remember watching it like oh, this is kind of anticlimactic because they kind of made him seem like he was the ringleader. And I was really disappointed that they killed him first. He was know, hard to go. I, honestly, what I think what I think the situation was with it was that this guy had a really good look. But it was pretty fucking clear that he couldn't act, <laughs> you know. Because like, because like once once you once you actually heard him say lines, you were like, "Oh no, that's that's wrong." Um, but he had he a over, really. <clears throat> he tried to overcompensate with the with the intensity and sweating. Yeah. But he had a really good look, so like they wanted him in the movie, but but they're like, "All right, let's just kill him first, I guess," you know. But I mean, but the problem is killing him off first leaves. You know, generic black guy one, generic black guy two, and generic white guy. You know, like it's 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 kind of tough to, you know. I love all the trained rats in this scene too. Like yes, the trained fucking, rats were. Awesome. They were just fucking everywhere, and they were awesome. They stole the entire scene. I feel that's all I, was missing from John Wick series is trained rats. trained rats. Yeah, for sure. John Wick. Hey, movies. hey Mo. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey Mo. Hey Mo. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like, can you imagine at a uh, at the at the Hollywood cafeteria, my man sitting down. Look, go back to the picture. Huh? Go back to the picture. Like, put it back up. Could you imagine in the Hollywood cafeteria, my man is sitting down talking with another actor. It's like, oh man, so what's going on with you? Oh man, they lose me after the after the the abandoned warehouse scene. <laughs> like, they want me to, do, but but I do B roll tomorrow. You know, this got me with the rats going to put on me. Yeah, it's like, yeah, hey, hey, I'll get paid skill for it. So I'm kind of cool. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm only in thirty minutes of the movie, but I get two rape scenes, so. Yeah, it's it's the it's the perks of the trade. Like what all is one uh, in the universe. I know probably one of one of you, maybe two of you, are asking yourself, wow, you guys are making fun of rape. The great George Collins said this one time rape is not funny, but you can make it funny. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean fr- He's frankly, like, of course not, it's not funny. But you can make, but you it, can make it. Hey, you know what's you know what's amazing too is that out of all the Death Wish movies, the consistent factor is that somehow, even with Somebody. all the vig- when, no, even without when when the vigilantism still keeps going, Kirsten still has time to be a fucking damn architect. Right? Like, God damn it, he's the best architect there is. The, the, man, talk about filler. Holy shit. Every fucking scene where he's in that office talking to the guy about the different ways they're gonna build this build this building. Like they're like, okay, you can tell that that you know Golan and Globus are like, okay, this movie needs to be 90 minutes long. We've got we've got 75 right now. How can we pad out the this? I tell you, he's an architect. He's an architect. Let's yeah, 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 he knows what he's doing. Let's, let's make him, let's, tell, him, tell him, tell him the material that he needs to use to do the stone statues at the yeah. front of this office building, and that'll take about ten minutes and to also, explain. Give him and three also, different options so you can do this building in glass and re- and reinforced steel, or you can do the building in wood. <laughs> but the most cost effective would be to do the building in concrete. Also, Mo, uh, because this movie is ninety minutes, and we need some more. You know, we need we need some more shit besides Bronson running up and down the street just murdering people. Uh, let's bring back let's bring back characters from the first movie. Hey, 
wasn't there something about a vigilante up in Boston or New York or something like that? And I'm like, no, they did not invoke the cops from the enter, previous movie. I mean, I, mean, I mean, here's the thing, though. Of all the people to bring back, man, Vincent Gardenia, come on. He's the best actor in this entire fucking movie. That's the <laughs> only thing I was and just about what? to say that. You do he, not bring and back guess what? old good Hollywood. And guess what? You bring <laughs> and guess what? You bring him back to keep him around just long enough for him to get axed. Hey, the Ocho. Yeah, just the long Ocho. enough. Why can't that? The Ocho. <laughs> the Ocho is back. <laughs> Yo, but I mean, you know, in the ouch, <laughs> he, he did good though. You know, he came back. He helped. He helped his old friend out. <clears throat> Wait a minute, because friends? He <laughs> I don't. Think, I, I don't think they're supposed to be friends. But he helps them out. They're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be friends. But at the same time, he's like, hey, uh, listen, I get the whole vigilante shit. I understand. As New York cops, we were supposed to do our job, and you ended up doing our job for us. We just instead of arresting you, we just we just kindly asked you, can you stop? Just stop, please. Just, just I, stop. I I also like that he's such a method actor that his character got sick. I mean, look, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I just like how I just like how it's he literally cop blocked the shit out of Cursey by telling his dry snitching to his girlfriend. Well, you know, I think he might have killed a couple people in New York. Who am I to tell? You know, he didn't say might have. He said huh, he's a uh, he killed muggers. He killed nine people. No, wait, I'm sorry. I'm turning yeah, into curse like there first. No, he's like, <laughs> it's, so, it's so hard to not do the fucking it is. It's hard. To, it's hard not to do it. But no, no, he killed nine people. It's like well, everyone. Now, of course, you hear that. And you're thinking, what, nine innocent people? No, that these people were muggers. I mean, these are people who had it coming. His what of them was Denzel was... Washington? I know. It was <laughs> accredited. <laughs> Uncredited, uh, un- uncredited Denzel Washington. Uh, bear, uh, is, bear is that, mind, bear, is that bear, before bear, he did Carbon bear, Copy? Bear, like, bear in uh, mind, it, uh, bear in mind, uh, they weren't. Uh, bear in mind that I they pulled out a deep one there. there. <laughs> you did, I love deep cut, but no, but no, gentlemen, bear in mind that these weren't just just nine random muggers. They were nine specific. Muggers. I mean, come on. They killed his wife, traumatized, yeah. emotionally and mentally scarred his daughter. They had to go. I mean, I yeah. always like how mentally scarred made the girl go pretty color. I <laughs> always laugh how it makes them not just a regular mute because I've seen mutes before. Ever we've seen probably you probably have seen a mute before where they're just they don't say nothing. They're just silent. They'll look at you. you no, she's probably, the happiest mute in the history. You can of read, like I said, you can probably read their sign, their eye language, and stuff like that. But outside of that, they're quiet. She was wait, shiny thing. Like I don't <laughs> yeah, think that works. took her intelligence. Yeah, is, <laughs> bro, bro, I mean, look, hey, the only time hey, yes, hey, trauma hey, is hey, trauma. Hey, Yes, hey, I get it. Yes. Holy shit. Hey, hey, Mo, this definitely is a Golden Globes movie. A happy mute in a Death Wish movie. <laughs> and you know what? And you know what Mahakam oh, Golem said? Crap. Do you know what Mahakam Golem said? Raper. Hey, Tuts. Let's take That's what you said. That's what he said. Take your what? shirt off. I'm going to see how your ditch look. Let's let's hey, let's, hey, let's see hey. them boobies. Hey, let's hey. see them boobies. Then we can make it happen. <laughs> like, right. Yes, Chris. This bro. is a giant stogie. Yes. Bro, all I'm saying is, <laughs> it's like old girl that fucking berserk. At least her, I can understand her fucking being mute after berserk that. Berserk had a shit. whole thing that went to. It. By the way, I like how we mentioned that during the, uh, how we we mentioned that joke and we did like we said that joke. I like how half the dudes like yeah, and all the girls like y'all mentioned that rape. It was the best scene in the movie. What are you talking about? I'm Same sorry. Time. I'm Same sorry. Time. It was horrible. It was horrible. That rape scene was horrible. Fantastic animation. <laughs> Fantastic animation. Hey, look, man. You, I, and I, you and I have been through Bubble Black. Look, man. We, know through, no. what, we know what quality looks like, sir. We do. <laughs> now, now you want to see some mentally scarring shit that full sends it. I, I would like to introduce you to Kite. <laughs> Like, all I'm saying is kite. that, that scene. Why you gonna mention? We, did we mention? Yo, did we, we never mention, did kite. 
No, I gotta quit. No, no. I said, did we mention Kite on a on a podcast not too long yeah. ago? Oh yeah, we did. We, we, did, we, did, we did. We did. We talked about Sam. We talked about the live action version. Nah, but you know what's crazy? that bitch jumped out the window. <laughs> no, we can't, I'm we pretty got, sure he said that. I don't know if he did. But that's what that's what made it funny because as much as we were making fun of it, it was less about the rape and more about the fact that Griffin did that shit out of spite, just because like you left me. So now I raped a girl and just I'm like, hey, that Yo, girl, you, like, hey, you know that girl you lost your virginity to. I know she lost your virginity. You know how I know that? Because I think about you, Guts. You my nigga. Griffin. Griffith is that dude who is straight, but he'll jack off beside you and look you dead in your eye. Why oh, he's he still exactly? straight. He'll still straight, but it's more of a game for him. Like, <laughs> I love you, Guts. <laughs> Guts like, hey, bro, I'm just trying to do me. <laughs> Yo, oh, I man, man, like, it's look, it's so much, I, I, I also didn't know that this gang, because the gang goes from regular gang that you probably see that would do some <laughs> stupid shit to they're gun runners now. The fuck? I like right. how yeah, they're, they're, they did the whole gun running thing a little late in this movie. Don't you I know, think? right? <laughs> no setup like, oh, whatsoever. They're just like, no we need setup. 15 more minutes. Like, no setup. And on top of that, half your squad has already gotten washed. Yeah, it's that like gun running said, and drugs. They were getting guns from this dude. <laughs> hey, look, first of all, I love the smooth criminal hat. So let's yeah, see. Second I love I love the fact that he's clearly an old white guy who they're trying to make look Cuban. Yo, the I rainbow love, suspenders, though. The rainbow suspenders. <laughs> That's some quality right there. The That's what's killing it right now for me. Progressive man. people. Progressive. But here's the, here's the <laughs> that is one progressive criminal. <laughs> now, 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 True ally. Y'all see that guy, right? They also had a, they also had this guy that had a full on machine gun and a rifle, and they had a guy in the in the in the uh, in the tree the shooting was... down at him too. Hey. And Lawrence Fishburne was down hey. there too. And hey. you know what? Hey. No. no one hit Chuck. No hey. one. Hey. The, I would like for you to uh, to observe Exhibit A here of Escape <clears throat> from Englewood. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out! Would, you mean? Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I paused to take pictures for these this movie, and it's so funny how people close their eyes when they fire the gun. This is like one of the few times where somebody had their eyes like squinting open because the light was blinding them. Fucking like escape from Laguna Beach, you mean? <laughs> escape from Laguna Beach. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he ain't got one, Larry Fishburne. So this escape from Inglewood, sir. <laughs> Angry and Van A's. Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> hold on. We jumped ahead. Hey, him taking out them dudes in the in, in, in the parking garage. I love it. That, that was, was great. Yo, that's the good. that's the that's the best of gr gratuitous nudity in the entire film. Oh, yeah. Yo, like when, when he when he's got her around the throat and he's walking, you know, like crab walking sideways with her, and the tits are just oh, out. It's I like did. I did. Well, okay, yeah. that was no point of that. There was no, no point. point. I like how he would like dragging her just to make a wiggle. I'm like 1980s. Let's go. You know the best part is he, after everybody got shot outside the van, right? It was a solid pregnant pause before the door kicks open and he drags the girl out. I'm sitting here wondering. So did you just have you just had the shirt? You had a, you only had enough time to open the shirt in the middle of a shootout. Uh, first, first off, first off, guys, you, you yeah. already, you already, you already know the vibes. As soon as his man got shot, this is him in the van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. oh man, that's, that's old Gruden. Oh, that, that, that was that was the pregnant pause right there. That yeah. face the whole time, like it was that <laughs> phase. It was that phase, and I guarantee it was him stepping out, going, "God, I really hope I don't get shot in the ass." <laughs> hey, he got hey he got shot in the upper thigh. So <laughs> close, close enough. enough. Close enough. They try to kill Cursey with the fucking damn forklift. I'm like, bro, you should have. Okay, out. okay, hold on. I'm gonna give it up. Listen, I'm gonna give it up to uh, to prep time. I can't call him Batman. I'm gonna say prep. <laughs> prep time, Cursey. Not Cur no, it wasn't Cursey. I'm talking about the black dude. My man was hiding. Oh. In a, he was hiding in a forklift behind a bunch of boxes. Oh, prep time, you know Earl. 
No, 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 no. Fuck that. Check out Wiley Coyote over here. Check like out using Willie. Ass- <laughs> Willie Coyote. Willie, Willie Coyote. Willie Coyote over here using a forklift behind some boxes. Willie Acting Dynamite Coyote. It's- this man. This man used a forklift. From the Acme Company, of course, <laughs> because no. it didn't work. Now, meanwhile, in the middle of all this, right, Kersey is keeping all this from his girlfriend, who's none the wiser. Before the detective from New York tells him, he changed and the locks on his house too. I know, you know, and then just like it's to the point to where his girlfriend is sus. asking, "When are they going to be serious? Uh, is he going to propose?" Blah 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 blah. You know, because to be fair, Kersey has an exit plan. Like, hey, if I kill all these guys, boom. You know, hey, we're engaged. We'll do blah 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. But he, at, at the he same puts time, marry me. But at the same yeah. time, he's going out at night, going to the hood. He has a whole has a whole other apartment over there, like he's some Nigerian D- fucking 13, another woman. Thirteen dollars. <laughs> hey, hey, thirteen dollars for the month. No, deal. fifty. Fifty dollars. Fifty, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 for the month. It was fifty a month. Fuck! I wish I could get a deal like that. Man. You know what? I mean, you know what? I hate saying this out loud. God for a ninety percent chance. Hold on, no, not no, Reagan. For, no, this no, no, was for, Carter, wasn't it? Yep, eighty-two. Yeah, 80, but, Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, say yeah, for. Yeah. I would say for like fifty bucks a month in that area, in that part of town, with a ninety percent chance of your shit getting stolen. Hey, Actually, it's an eighty percent chance. It's a ninety percent chance you'll get a get for gas. <laughs> Well, not when you're rolling around. Not when you're rolling through the streets trolling like this guy. I mean, come on. That man put on a beanie. It's like 80 degrees outside at night. I know, I mean, right? 75 at night. I was from California. So, you know. What, um... Still. What, what year was this supposed to be again? 82. 82. Re- Reagan was in office already. Oh, okay. So, Reaganomics yeah. and all that ran wild. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> the then, mega powers run wild. I gotta say, I gotta say, man, when we were fighting the commies, things <laughs> meant things in this country. It used to be a proper nation. <laughs> we used to thought about it. We used to go out and make things. <laughs> I mean, it, it it cracks me the fuck up now that like there's a whole section of the population now who are like. You know the the, 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 the the commies ain't so bad. <laughs> yeah. We call it, we call it like, not even not even two handed. Com- See, I can go with anybody that wants to be a little bit socialist, be a little bit anarchist. I can go with that. It's the ones that go, hey, hey, Pope making a point. And they're like, yo, what? <laughs> yeah, hey, we, well, didn't go, we didn't go through Red Dawn for you to say this shit. Well, right? well, yeah, me. yeah. Th- 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 like, those are the na- those are the. Thing- those are the national Bolsheviks, and and they can go fuck themselves, frankly. <laughs> Bullshit. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, it's true. That's what they. That's the party. That's what they are. They're the national Bol- Bolsheviks. They might as well be a fucking hate group. I really, I really love the fact. <laughs> I really love the, the fact. Group. No, for I really love the fact that there was actually a subsection of Americans that was like, "Hey, man, it's gonna happen, man." It's going to be Trump, Putin, best of both worlds album. It's going to be shit. It's going to go three times planned. <laughs> Nigga, they're going to be on a world tour. They're going to be on a world tour. That's hey, how it almost was. Hey, hey, look, man, if COVID never happened, that shit probably would have popped hey, off. Hey, Ares, 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 think about it. Ares, Ares, think about it. Putin over there. I just want to see you, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I mean, I mean, let's, let's, face, let, let's, let, let's face some real facts here. If Trump wasn't an idiot um, and didn't surround himself with idiots and then constantly undermined the idiot shit that the idiots he surrounded himself with did <laughs> uh, and started planning two years earlier than he actually did, because let's face facts, he woke up one day in December and said, I don't think I want to give up the presidency and decided... <laughs> You know, and decided to do. But if he had done that in, if he had done that two years previous and said, "I'm going to start working now," I hate to say it, he would have succeeded. Oh, you know, there, there, there's there's enough stupid people in this country that would have backed that shit. Hey, hey Mo, hey Mo, hey Mo. I only have one thing to say to that as a response. Oh, Gladys, <laughs> China. 
No, because if you, for those of y'all that don't know, please so, check out. Every time I no, hear you say Grazzi, I don't see him doing this. I see him doing this <laughs> because he thinks he's going to mess up saying it. So he needs a balance. No, no, so, so basically, basically, for those of y'all that don't know, please check out our Three Black Geeks action Trump clip. We have so oh many. No, to be like this, like this. Any any cigar movie, and I said all of our cigar movies. No, the only cigar movie we didn't call an action Trump was was the first movie we did, which was uh, Under Siege. We did that all the way back in 2014, before we even thought the voice of Donald Trump mm-hmm. and the voice of Steven Seagal eerily sounds the exact one. Because, I, you know I was, what? You're and not I was the one that, And I remember I was the one that said that. I was like, God, you know, every time, like when 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 it became official that we saw Seagal uh, attempting to speak Italian, I'm like, I'm hearing Trump. It's Seagal yeah, speaking. Seagal well, speaking it, Italian reminds me of fucking Brad Pitt and Inglorious Bastards. You know, yeah, on Jerno. <laughs> Yo, it was on the. It was like it was the Alpha Justice. Alpha Justice. We already said it. Alpha Justice. It hurt us. It hurt us to watch the movie. Because yeah. The movie refused to move. The only bright spot was the very, very end. Watching William Forsythe get the living shit kicked out of him. But the best part about it was when we learned that behind the scenes, Stevie Seagal felt that William Forsythe was upstaging him. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Well, I mean, so, come, come, come the fuck him. on. I mean, it's fucking William Forsythe. The dude's a great actor. <laughs> you know, of course he is. I like how we was like William for the the Bo, the best part, and this is why I love the, the us three when we've been doing our shit. We've been doing this shit so long that we are very critical of when we, we, we're making jokes, we're being fucking critical. And the one thing that we all said was like, Will's not trying. He's not trying in this. No, movie. he's folding that is, shit in. And he is going for it. The kid because we hear errors. We drove Eris crazy. We're like, we like, man, he was like, he swung the crack. No, sleep. <laughs> Bo, no, Bo. Here you go, Eris. Shut the fuck up to both of you. This movie didn't deserve that song. So, 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 so I, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are, are have, have seen these, but a thing I've been enjoying lately, uh, I would say over the last few years, are YouTube videos of like stuntmen telling telling their Seagal stories, yeah. you know, about like how he was way too fucking uh, hands on with them. We'll say like he worked working stiff. You know, and I forget who the fuck was it? Was it was it Michael Jai White who had the story of that they they told him to go in there and just beat yeah, the shit out of yeah, <laughs> you know yeah yeah, right yeah. Right yeah they were hands. they were like just fucking throw hands on him, take him the fuck out. Everybody gets a two week break, and you know we'll come back and finish this fucking piece of shit. You know, hey, you know what? I I mean credit I to Jai White real- for not doing yeah. that, but you know. Because that would have ruined his fucking career sad. more than Spawn did, you know. I did, I did, like, he was fighting back I the think... urge to do it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, of course. You ever see a movie where somebody, you know, actually bites the the bad apple and they get everything they ever wanted, but their life is empty? Right. That would have happened to Michael Jai White. He yeah. would have punched. He would have punched Stevens to go in the face. The next day, Jerry Bruckheim be calling him. He be doing all these movies. It'd and be we killing and him. we we never would have gotten Black Dynamite. And what a shame! What a shame that would have been. We never, never got Black Dynamite. And, and look, and this would have happened. So I have a question, Michael. You and your <laughs> wife's. You and your wife, Scarlett. How do you feel? Happy. I feel damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlett, your hands like this. Michael, what, what, talk. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, and because we're Michael, in that timeline, he, and because we're in that timeline, we yeah. don't know that this timeline exists. We're like this. What's wrong with Mike? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, D, D, we don't because, know what's no, going. Hold on, because no, because we're in this other because we're in this different timeline. My, uh, Michael's muscles are like two times bigger. They're two times bigger. They're two times bigger because he's got a lot more. Bigger. He's got a lot more time to work out. He's got a lot more time to work out. But like you said, because like because like his personal life is empty on the inside. It's a coping mechanism. So hold, like, hold on. So every, hold on. So the bigger the- he gets, the more copium he's been. Taking. Here's the sad trade off, y'all. Because oh we are good because three black geeks are firm believers in equivalent exchange. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson is smaller, more charming, and actually workable. He's it's well, like all his movies bank. They all, all make his bank. movies bank. He's a nice guy. There's nothing wrong. Does he do the XFL? Look, look, does he do the XFL? No, he stays in wrestling. Like yeah, stays, he stayed in stays wrestling. Like, he never left. Crazy. And he he's never not pipping, left. And he's not pipping out Zoa energy drink. So hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, it's not that was time for me and Mo to feel bad. First of all, like, first of all, Chris, if it wouldn't be Zoa, it would be called Pua. But <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be called it would be called God Samoa. Damn. It would be called Samoa. <laughs> it would be called Samoa. <laughs> It'd be Samoa S dot A dot M dot. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> I hate you, Ers. Oh. Stay your corner. I don't know which. I gotta tell you, I don't know which one I like better. Pua or fucking Samoa. <laughs> I love Samoa. It's, I mean, Samoa is pretty good. All right, I'm man. Just, I'm just saying, fourteen Holy straight over. Listen, listen, fourteen million different realities, man. One is like <laughs> very similar to the other. Hey, you know what, man? You know, hey, look, look, Michael Jai White's the biggest star in the world, and you know why? Because he punched Steven Seagal. What happened to Steven Seagal, D? You won't believe this. When he punched Steven Seagal, Steven Seagal died. Carl Tuckerson died. Vince <laughs> McMahon died. Warren Buffett died. Frank Dukes finally admitted that it was. Frank Dukes admitted everything he did. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Stop everything. See, you mentioned Frank Dukes. First of all, everything that Frank Dukes said was actually true. Yeah, right, right, right. That'd be, right. Right. That'd be wow. the trade-off. That would be the twist. That that would oh, be the man. twist. <laughs> nah, nah. Here's the big twist. No, the man. way you, no, the way the old picture no, of fucking no, blood no, no, documentary. I'm sorry, the, the way that you pull away the Frank Dukes. Wait, dude, the myth. No, no, the way you, the way you oh. said the way that you said this person died, this person died, this person died. I'm like, yo, did is him punching Steven Seagal the fucking Zordon energy tube getting yes, smashed is. open, yes, and the is. wave of light just took out every piece of shit on Earth? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I I thought the funniest part was when he said Carl Tuckerson. That's what I'm saying. It went to every <laughs> piece of shit on Earth. <laughs> He realized. He oh, got they, there. They just Here's turned the to part. dust. Here's oh, best part. oh, man, that's messed up. Oh, man, that's messed up. So let me guess. Barack Obama and, and, and Michael John White taking pictures and shit. Here's me. Barack who? Right. <laughs> Barack Obama. He was a Democrat. Who? Who? And like you, like you keep talking like this, dude. The Republicans have won the office for the <laughs> last sixteen years. Oh, Hold on, my... Mo. You want those? No, no. Nah, you, you just, you just put me into a fucking emotional down spiral, spiral right here. So I need to, like, I need to recover. But actually, a mechanic in Chicago. Doing fine. <laughs> the country's doing fine. The country's uh, actually doing fine. The country's uh, doing fine. He's like this, like. It's like it's... It's just to show yeah, you that's doing fine. It's like, so y'all gotta, y'all, so black people ain't getting shot by the cops? Oh, yes, they are. No one's reporting it, and that's actually the biggest part of the, the problem. The <laughs> other, uh, <laughs> it, like, the other, like, Jesus one last, Christ. one last cherry on top of that twist. Uh, Hillary Clinton learned how to delete emails. <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, I got a better one. Captain, Captain Sully prevented 9 11. 
No, no, I hate to be that person. This is a sick thing. God, see, I feel like I'm cre- See, this is what happens when you play Civilization. I'm gonna send these documents. Like I'm, send my, like I'm gonna send these documents to my friend in South Florida and teach them how to fly planes. <laughs> we intercepted these documents. <laughs> it's, a, it's the schematics for Metal Gear Rex. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Metal Gear exists in this, in this universe. Hey, 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 you know what? You know what? You know what? This movie, and the despite... Japanese are ahead of us. We are in trouble, everyone. <laughs> hey, the this... Japanese have a twenty-year jump on us, y'all. Hey, boom, despite... boom, 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 boom. Despite how whimsical this movie is, uh, whimsical. The most, the most, the most real not the word I'd use, but okay. <laughs> just, no, 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 Bo. Whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is fairly whimsical. All I'm All right. saying is, hey, look, hey, look, a fucking ECT treatment that actually worked. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, 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 Aris, 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 the girl is still sucking. <laughs> no, no, yo, no, no, no. The face you make when she says, "Go ahead." <laughs> Hold on, now it's time to take one of my favorite lines from Stuart Gilligan Griffin. Not a good gum to tea for ratio. I'm gonna say this: the most realist and rawest shit in this movie that that kind of hit home for me. My man got off. On some, well, sir, he was high on PCP. He wasn't in his right mind when he raped a daughter and did all this shit. I'm like, that hit how home I, for me because this will happen in 2023. Somebody like, will get off that shit. How do you get shit. away with that? You know what? PCP. It, it, it's the it's the sad it's thing. It's sick that, but sad. No, how, sad is, no. how is that the loophole? I don't get that. Hey PCP, man, look dog. man, I would never put put my dick in it if I would. I, I, I mean, it would it would have to happen I now because know. because we it would have to happen now because we know that loophole didn't work in the early nineties. If a damn sure didn't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, man, just, my man, man. PCP, hey, he hey, gets thrown hey, into the criminal in a... asylum. I'm like. Hey, listen. I... Hey, listen, Mo. We we do technically live in Earth six one six, where a man <laughs> where a man can pull up a glove and say, "My hand don't fit in it." You know right. what? Here's the thing. I will say, I used to always and think, get off because when we yeah, hear, because dry dry blood on a glove doesn't shrink it at all. You it's know, like, it's not, not, all. Get me not good enough. Well, when we hear damn good defense, defense, though, I mean that was a damn good defense. But if the if the glove defense. don't fit, you must acquit. I mean, come on. <laughs> You know, hey, look, I give I give Cochran that the man can push shit to a beat. He was, sorry, he was a push. huge piece of shit, but fuck me, was he was he musical? Good, hey. I love that look. I love that look. He looked. Remember, <laughs> Eric Chris, remember the end of that scene? Nigga, please. <laughs> and that's how Courtney B. Vance got that fucking Emmy nom- Emmy win. Yeah, Nigga, Courtney please. B. Vance is like Courtney B. Vance is like I'm winning this one. I'm winning this one. You know what? I always laugh when we hear. I I don't laugh. I mean, it kind of f- fucks me up when we hear about crimes like that and hear about people getting off on it. It's always one of two things: either the person that was murdered was super poor or a different color, or the person that committed the crime was rich. And it's always usually the rich one. We hear that is that's been a thing forever in America, where you mm-hmm. hear like somebody like, "Oh my God, he did what to his parents?" What do you mean he's walking down the street? It's it's wild how how people get off with these some of these charges. But it makes me laugh in these movies because they say this about <clears throat> regular ass street punks with no good lawyers, <laughs> with no support system. All of a sudden, the judge is going to go, this one. We're going to rehabilitate this one. What white man fantasy? Yeah, you're absolutely right, because that's one of the most unrealistic things about this movie is when they put you in in medical treatment for, you know, for w- when they deem that you're not mentally, right. yeah, when you're not mentally aware enough to, to be charged for your crime. They don't put you back on the street when you're done. They mentally rehabilitate you, and then you go to trial for the murder. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's not a get, it's not a get out of jail free card. It's Yo. not now. Yeah, you do get 
you know, the weird examples where, I don't know, like, um, Two Face is your boss and you go right into the jail and come right back out. Yeah, that does happen in America. The mob, yeah. that's about it. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot more realistic. Mob, Congress, a friend of the president, that usually happens for them. You know what I mean? Somebody in the CIA, no, CIA they don't touch the jail. The point is, <laughs> the point is that always fucking goes down like that. So I, so I do laugh at this idea that justice was not going to be served on these people. Now, yes, they could get away with a crime that's probably a high chance, especially in the 1970s, early 80s, where if you get raped, Lady, you better have a perfect description of who was on top of you. <laughs> and even then, there's a 40% chance that we might get to it. So mm-hmm. back then, yeah, usually justice for that never happened. And I get the whole, like, I got to do something. Like, we're not even going into the whole morality thing of that. Because that if we wanted to do that, we would have watched the first on um, Death Wish. At this point, we're just killing. Look, at this point, this is double dragon, except you got a gun. So, so <laughs> oh, you know man. I mean? hey, if, only, if, if only he had a brother, then they could have been Jimmy and Bimmy. No, no, no. Charles he replaced Bronson the chain. He replaced the chain whip with a gun. No, yeah. Charles and Charles and Heston is Mega Man with a gun. <laughs> pew pew. I mean, shit, man. The art with the original artwork on that Mega Man looked like Charlton <laughs> Heston. Yo. And, uh, Mega Man, the original Mega Man <laughs> with, the, with the with the belly. With the fucking old man. With the old yeah, man. with the, the, so the fat old, old dude. With, with come the on. Man. With the old man like this, hold the gun. Yeah. <laughs> what a. What a fucking joke! Thing, you, that's so, that's some of the worst fucking game art ever. The and why they had Doc, why they had Wiley look like move. like why did why did they have Wiley like on the on the top half of that joint looking like kind of cybernetic and shit? Like, <laughs> yeah, was like, design, what is man. this? I'm t- I'm telling you. Well, you know they they that a group of programmers, of uh, game developers, created the a uh, uh, Mega Man clone. To make it be as if it was like the cover art from that original game, so like it's a fat Mega Man with a gun, you know, jumping around <laughs> yeah. and like, I'm like that's the coolest thing ever. I, I like love it. I love shit like that. People well, I like, are weird. I like the I like- fact that that they re- like really. Like I said, these niggas had no lawyers, and yet they were going to get off on insanity. That's yeah. just bloody as hell to me, hey, man. Hey, no, no, Cursey though. Um, Kersey got sloppy in the third hat, third act of this movie because my yeah, man he didn't was like, at that point. At, yeah, at that point, he's like, Oh, he's in the criminal side. Let me go ahead and get this paper and make this little badge, and we'll throw it in this trash can over here so that my girlfriend can see it in the trash can. You know, it makes it so bad. I love this scene, by the way, Eris. This was the best scene <sighs> in the movie. Will you marry me? <laughs> I'm no sorry, dice. Charles. Can no you dice. say that with more feeling? Come on. <laughs> That's a smile yeah. face. Don't you know? Michael, Michael, understanding off screen, off screen, going, going. Come on, Chuck. Come on, let's put a little emotion into it. You're asking the, uh, you're asking the woman, you know, you love to marry her, and he just looks at him and goes, "No dice." You know, yeah, what I, mean? I, am, I would like for you to marry me. <laughs> oh, Charles, you, uh, suck this my is... dick in the process. Oh, Charles, this is much like the time. You... This is like the time you gotta think about. It. <laughs> oh, I, I know this. I know this is going to go on. Go home. I don't know how the hell I work with you two. <laughs> Hey, look, it's, don't call. It's only going to amplify in San Diego. You know this, right? I know. I know it is. I know. <laughs> oh, Charles. Ooh, put say, little, please say, hold back on the me. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good cup. tooth to gum ratio. Put, no, 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 no. Cup them. Cup them. Cup I told them. you. There you go. I told you. Do not bite it. In this out. ain't over. In <laughs> <laughs> this ain't over. In and out. Hey man, he don't got touch into, me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Yo, he got into that fucking tell. hospital smooth as shit, and it was the sloppiest fucking fight ever. I'm like, you got the jump on this fool, and you still almost fucking got aced. He this got dude got rolled. stabbed. He yeah. got super stabbed. 
<laughs> if it wasn't for that dude missing and Char- <laughs> Chuck just guessing to turn on that machine to electrify this nigga, there was no... Ch- he was hey, about to die, bro. That's the most emotion fucking damn Chuck has in this movie because he almost died. That's the face of a guy. I was like, oh, shit, that nigga I almost had like me. Actually the him. I feel like they actually <laughs> made him combat roll on the ground two times. <laughs> All right, Chuck, your hair's messed up. And your heart rate is actually way higher than it should be. You should go see a doctor after the scene. Now! We're almost ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, man. Cu- hey, Ares, Ares. Ares, hey, look. Go look, go look. Go look. You almost cut me slippy. <laughs> I almost got Harris. <laughs> no, got, I almost got faded in the streets. No, no, the I'm I'm sorry. I do believe the word. I do believe the uh, catchphrases. <laughs> I uh, got caught licking. I <laughs> got caught licking. <laughs> Hey, I like how the doc, I like how the security <laughs> guy just looked at Bronson, looked at my man, and was like, eh, fuck him. Go ahead. And you, I, give, nah. I give you about it. But get, I give you a head start. Give me three minutes. You like this. And then you give him a minute and a half. Here's, here's. Yeah. Back on to Charles, S, Charles, Charles, Charles Bronson. Charles. <laughs> oh, Charles God. Bronson. God. That would have been the buddy. Oh, team my God. Before. Charles S. Dutton and Charles Bronson. It's time for us to kill some minorities. <laughs> And he would have said minorities. Yeah. Chuck Heston, Chuck Heston and um who was the lower who was the I called the 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 the, the lesser uh Chuck Heston. He was an um uh, he was an airplane. <laughs> he was an airplane. Uh, uh god, I forgot his name. He had a high uh, ass. That's all I remember about him, man. <laughs> Connors, Connors, um Chuck Connors, yeah, Chuck, Chuck Connors. Connors. Yeah. 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 He yeah all, the, all the bad ones are named Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Connors was a dude that ate metal. I can't. Chuck Connors <laughs> was a legit badass. I that mean, was... for real. One of my favorite lines where he 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 spit it in the background. It set something off on fire. I think that was Airplane Two, or he did that. Yeah, I he was Airplane that, Two. I thought that was one of the funniest things ever. The fact that he just said, <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> To this day, it still cracks me up how hey, stupid hey. it is. But also, but, yo, we, have to, we, have, we have to appreciate his girl just saying, all right, I'm done. Ring. Oh, she dropped that ring. Well, if I stay around, I will get raped, so I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You have she a track she, record, my dear. <laughs> she, hey, hey, she did that. Her fucking livelihood went up as soon as she left. Like, Hey, right, man, cool. look, man, your HP go up, man. I mean, I uh, yes, I uh, yes, no, let's, yes. No, no, let's think about there. this. I have let, a breast cancer joke, but I'm not going to. Let's make think it. about it. Let's think about this. <laughs> I do. I let's really, problem. really think about this. She made the smart choice because she already got the heads up early on in the movie. You <sighs> come to the, the house. You, no, the no, no, no. You come to the house, and the very first <laughs> thing that you see, you look to the left. Oh God, <laughs> my boyfriend's been knocked out. Look to the right. The maid stripped, butt naked, bloody and bruised, and dead. Plus, she also saw the script of Death Wish 3 and was like... <laughs> She's like, I'm out. <laughs> We're done. I don't even think... No, she didn't even need to I don't to want to go script. to New York City. <laughs> no, she 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 was done, like, period. Off, off rip. Like, no. Hey, no, look, man. No. For your man, traumatized dog... Hold on. You got three L's. You got knocked down in your own house. You got your uh-huh. own housekeeper killed. Your daughter uh-huh. yeeted herself in a, in a harakiri... And you want me to be a part of this? I'm sorry, that's three. That, that's... It is. Right. It is <laughs> fucking dangerous to be a woman around Paul Kersey. It yes. absolutely is. Yeah, that is three. That is three strikes. But, you know, I'm out. But you know what? On Paul, on Paul's part, real talk. You blew it. You had it all, and you blew it. <laughs> a hot girlfriend. You're sixty. You're. you're She's still cute. All right? Your daughter. She was getting better. You had it. <laughs> look, 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 look. All right? And even when she left the situation, you still had a good job. Still had a Buick. I don't know why. <laughs> a Buick. I hey, look, man. Still, hey, I bro, still bro. had a Buick. And for, and, for a, and for a bullshit bonus, like a real bullshit bonus, like, dude, you can take your 
your job as an architect, that whole business, you can just pack it up and take it anywhere. Hey, look, man, for for a man that lost all that, you know, he, uh, you know, he basically got over it pretty quick, you know, because he was off and doing another job for his architect. And his man was like, hey, Paul, I tried to call you the other night for a party. Where were you at? Ah, uh, you know, I fell asleep in front of the TV, you know, that kind of thing. I was uh, <laughs> sleeping in front of the television. Actually, it's the, that's a lie. And and the reason why is because it uh, that individual had it coming, especially after I was knocked out by a a jubilee of urban youths. Jubilee. Of, you know what? I always felt that Golden Globus they were very mob of psychotic, <laughs> mob of psychotic Negroes. No, 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 no. You got to say it the right way. A psychotic mob of ethnic <laughs> ethnic minorities. There I was, in the middle of Gumpton. All these jury, <laughs> all of these jury curls so, came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Kersey, why are you even in Compton? Why were you there? I... <laughs> That's what we call the silver rights. The finger. civil rights finger. Yeah, you so. <laughs> That's one of those things. Like I said, Mo, it's when you get stabbed with maybe two, maybe three fingers. They hurt like hell. That's all you need to know. Get your ass up. My man was doing them fingway shits with the dirt. You, <laughs> <laughs> anytime, I'll be honest with you. Anytime, a black man. Around the age of 60 says, let me tell you something. Step back one step. <laughs> Not saying he will attack you, but be prepared. His speed will shock you. <laughs> Brace, hey, yourself the, Brace yourself for the Brace yourself for the hit. Always. At least brace yourself for the hit. That's all I appreciate Golden Globus's aspirations of doing big things because they wanted Isaac Hayes to do the soundtrack for this movie. That would have been nice. Oh, that would have been. So nice. they wanted Isaac Hayes, but they got Jimmy Page. I like how yeah. Jimmy Page didn't really care into the third. He movie. did not fucking care at all. <laughs> it, it, Jimmy Page's music in this movie is phenomenal. It's just like, okay, that's good. Let's just stick that in there. You know, he's just making fucking guitar noises like he's Tom Morello fucking twenty years before. You know, now. Now pulling now. out the fucking we don't we don't you know yeah, it's like your movie it's oh, him yeah. we're making music <laughs> yeah yeah no he's in yeah yeah oh, yeah oh, oh, oh that third act with him, with him with 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 Paul and the cops shooting people that was like yo that's oh, just my man. damn Jimmy went off on that motherfucking guitar bro bruh he, he, he was like he was like I've only got I've only got enough energy to really do one good composition so let's let's just save it for the climax. You can tell. Uh, you can tell. Like in this movie, he was really trying new stuff. He just wanted to be like, well, I'm, it's basically mostly coming from a guitar. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? he's yeah. he's accomplished enough where he can get on a motherfucking piano and play something. But for the most part, it was guitar led music. So well, it was well, a little he, different. Here's the thing. He didn't. He didn't have enough old blues musicians to rip stuff off from. So he was like, let me. Let me. Go it. Oh, 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 did I hit a nerve? <laughs> You hit a nerve with facts. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, that's straight it. facts like, right there. I, I, had to tell, I had to tell my mom about that the other day. I went last the other week. I went to go visit my mom, who I, ha- who I hadn't seen in quite some time because she lives two fucking hours away from me, and I ain't got time for that shit. Um, and, and we were li- talking about music, which is one of me and my mom's <laughs> main subjects. And she had mentioned she was doing that boomer thing where it's like, I don't understand why they can't just play music with instruments and where they're singing because of course i you know i was showing my nephew uh, a hip-hop song that i would have gotten into recently which may i might be the whitest thing i've ever said but um <laughs> and, but, yeah yeah I, I like the rap uh I heard is big. <laughs> I like I like Fat Joe, um, <laughs> you know, and, so, and, and but, you, have, you got to say it the right way, Bo. I like overweight Joseph. I, I like I like morbidly obese Joseph. <laughs> morbidly, obese. I like Remy Martin. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, so so yeah, so she was doing that boomer thing, and like, and so and, and where she's like, oh, why can't they just play music? And like, I had to explain to her how fucking hard it is to make fucking beats and stuff, and and like, she's like, but they're not singing. I'm like, no, they're rapping, which is fine. That's what they're doing. You know, like they don't need to fucking sing. Not to mention the fact that the guy who I was listening to was a uh, prof, by the way, um, mm. who can sing. You know, he just wasn't on this song. Uh, anyway, and she goes, and I, go, I go, okay, mom, what do you want me to, what do you want, what do you want to listen to? What do you want me to put on? She goes, I don't know, like Led Zeppelin. I'm like, okay, let me tell you something about Led Zeppelin. <laughs> and I went on for like a half an hour about the amount of fucking music they stole. And she's like, I don't think they stole anything. I just think it was inspired. I'm like, okay, I'll show you the videos later, mom. You know. Hey, I almost got, I, 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 I struck a nerve with a guy that walked in our, our our job and was talking about old like rock music because we was playing like some oldies rock rock on uh, station all that shit in the, in the store and he was talking about how great Ozzy Osbourne was and right. this is D and I said the truth hey if Zach Wild left would Ozzy have a song he wanted to fucking fight me but he, he but you're wanted but, to but where's fight me but where's the lie. Ozzy yeah. Osbourne, yes, his 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 voice is. Uh, o- Ozzy is great, but he has never been as good as his guitarists no. ever, not once. And Zach Wilde was is a fucking monster, right? So whether good. whether it's whether it was Tony Iommi or mm. or Randy Rhodes or Zach Wilde, he was always as good as his guitarist. Always when as when as he as doesn't as have as a good guitarist to back him, his songs are awful. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Anyway, but even on top of that, like. This is the most wildest shit ever. I like it wild took, shit. It, it, it took him six days to film that rape scene. I'm sorry. Oh, which, God. Which, oh, I'm sorry. Fucking which one? <laughs> oh, the, one with the, maid, the one with the maid. The maid. Oh, the maid. my God. Oh, six six days. fucking days. Why That's... would it take six days to do that? It should be Jesus. one day. That should just be one day. Two well, hours I hate, And I hate to be that person. Just make it a long day. Just right? make it a long day. Make sure it's 1980s. Nobody went home with that woman. No. <laughs> Nobody made sure she was all right. You know, did she have something to drink? Did she want to talk about it? You knew she got nothing. <laughs> no, she no, she had she had some she had some Shelly Long level PTSD after that shit. I'm pretty sure, man. I'm yeah. pretty sure, man. Like, man, like any like I told you, I, I give it up to any uh, woman that does an intense rape scene like that. Some of them Okay, y- y- they could do it, and it don't. You could tell that it don't affect them because they're an actor. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's I'm what they, you know what I'm saying? I had to feel it. Don't tell me you messed it. I messed it. Oh my god! But you can tell some people they want they are up to do it because it's a challenge for them. Sure. And then sometimes it's like that director know they can get over on an actor that's only have two movies under their name and are willing to do anything. Mm-hmm. So. We can kind of push it to the limit. There's so like no I said, reason. Shout out to any woman that has to go through a rape scene in a movie, there, man. There is there is no fucking reason that scene should have taken six days. I mean, yeah. you know. did you read that right? <laughs> read six. That right. six days. To the point to where she said it was very grueling, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, that. So, you know, it's. it's. I mean, fuck, I can, I can see two. I can see two. I can't see six. There's two. There's two locations. I can see two. One in the living room. One in the bedroom. The bedroom. Yeah. You know, exactly. that you don't need more than that. Six I, days. Yeah. I'm like, did, did did they just stop after like first thing was like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> go Lord, to the next day. And I'm did like, Lawrence Fishburne get sick or something? Man? Like, <laughs> well, yeah. What what was there like a, an extreme case of chafing? You know, I mean, <laughs> was the guy. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Was the guy not hard enough? Like, what was? The... <laughs> no, I say that because think about. It. Think I don't about think they were actually it. fucking. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I will say this. This is this is unheard of now, man. I, no, but that I told... is so, Eris. Eris, did yeah, you, you didn't yeah. hear the fact, did you? No, no, no. What happened? So, uh, the, yeah, hit him with the truth. One of one, one, one of the trivia, and this is apparently it's one hundred percent true. Why is it in the trivia section? Oh my god! It took him six days to film the rape scene with the maid. 
Look at the genuine that, that, shock. I'm like, I'm, I'm, su- I'm surprised. I'm surprised he hasn't already asked the question that we asked immediately, aka which one. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I had to stop. I had to stop. Yeah. Just, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah, to yeah. internalize everything that was just being told to me. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a lot of information. So, so I just have one question. <laughs> well, two actually. Um, one, which one? The two, the first, the first one. Yeah, first one. Rosalind. Well, I don't have a feeling there was a deleted scene of an extended. <clears throat> Never mind. Never mind. Um, second. I got you. Se- second. Right. S- second. Second. My my second question. Why? <laughs> That's a good question. S- I, I, no. Damn near a week. Y'all didn't film that much. Right. There was a lot Mo of cutting. Out the most, and Mo pointed out the best part. Oh, they didn't I? really have sex, did they? Yeah, right. It's not. It's not like they had like actual sex. It wasn't. You know what? I hate to go that far. It wasn't a scene of her going. Uh, 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 uh. It wasn't even that. <laughs> I thought that was gonna happen when they tied oh, the bandana oh, like, around ready. her mouth. I was ready. For I that was too. ready for like. <laughs> God damn, 1980s acting like it's a 1970s. Like, can, like, can we I was for, ready for that. For, for, no, we didn't mention this, earlier. this. Like, I had to really think back. I had to think back to this because it's like when you think back to like movies and how they portray rape, right? Like nowadays they show rape. It's like off camera, and you did you don't highly see shit. implied. It's highly implied, and that's it. Which in and of itself is enough to. That's all you really need, right? But it just felt like the 80s, and I would even say part of the 90s, they were like, no, you're going to get this rape scene, and we're going to do this. And I'm like, okay. Which, which, I had to, like, like, which has led me to ask this question also. Well, not really a question. It was something I just wanted to point out to, to all y'all. Did y'all notice that this, this movie is a very quick sit? Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, found, I found this movie to be utterly enjoyable like yeah. it was so much more fun than i even expected it to be you know and, uh, rape scenes aside um <laughs> again mo you, you know. make it fun you make it fun. <laughs> you make it funny um you no rape, like you have, you have rape down twice yeah it well, took well, six days six days though well, because 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 you look at because you look at the first movie like like we had talked about before it's very dark it's very intense it's very brutal you know and this one there's just so much goofiness going on like which is why I was saying before that I feel like this is like the ultimate sequel like it's really like they they it, they had they didn't have to do any real work they basically took the plot line of the first movie and just did it again <laughs> and then, and then they did it four three more times. Um, Wait, no. and, and they they made they made it less serious Wait. And, and added some goofy shit to it, and it's and it's fucking great. It's it's so much fun. So Mo, what you're trying to tell me? Is, oh, what am I? Yes, yes. What you're trying to tell me is they John Hammond this shit. <laughs> they they jo- yeah yeah they John yeah they, that Dude, yes man, yo yo Chuck got paid. Rape scenes. If I did this whole movie with nothing but rape scenes, you would and, have no- and like and no action and no goofiness. You wouldn't have anything to say. If I made this serious, <laughs> if we made this another, if we made this another, another picture of society. <sighs> look, look, really look. I, look I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know many things. Rape but what, what I what I do know is Death Wish finds a way. Hey, <laughs> hey man, look, Ch- Chuck. Bronson hey, I got, got a paid, question real quick. Yeah, I paid one point five million for this shit, so it, yeah, it definitely found a way. One point five million. Do you know that, how much that was back in eighty two? That was a lot. It was a lot in eighty two. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a new Chrysler I want. <laughs> want to get? Hey, I want to. Hey, I want to hey, upgrade my Buick. Hey, Chris, I got a question. <laughs> what the fuck is this falling out of Lawrence's face? <laughs> I'm all I guess. First no, off, is that his tongue? First off, I don't care. Or is that no? Hold on, hold on. Is that 
Is that gum like mixed in with blood? Because <laughs> he was chewing gum. All right. <laughs> All right. That's before. Kaboom. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite death scenes in the entire movie. Like that was, that is it was awesome. so good. You know what? what I did, do, when he shot that. I just thought of like mystery science theater. No, he murdered hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna. Well, I, I was sitting here thinking. I, I remember watching that, thinking to myself, that is a very literal interpretation of a ghetto blaster. Of a ghetto blaster. <laughs> Radio. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where Nas got the inspiration for Hip Hop is Dead. Oh my god. Turn down the music. Turn down the music. <laughs> Why can't you play songs with instruments Turn and actual with- singing? <laughs> bring in the noise, bring in the fuck. <laughs> this is, hey, call Big Daddy Kane. Tell him who shot you. <laughs> I will look. Like, I would throw said, a tomato at you, D, but I actually like that one. Yo, Thank you. Said, though, it is like oh, I said, the movie's entertaining, but I feel it reached the apex. I hate the fat boys. <laughs> <laughs> the fat boys ruined rep. Hey, look, man. Death Wish no. 3 is definitely Ooh. apex. Death Wish. I, I, got, I got one for you, sir. <clears throat> Where's? I need a beat. <laughs> seven, seven, you won. You won. You won. You fucking won. Ghetto blasted. That is yeah. fucking good. Oh, oh, chef's kiss, my friend. Chef's kiss. That is. That is. I would like to prime. I would like to imagine. I need a golden. God, trophy. that's that's better. That's better than any joke any of us have made tonight. That is so good. I would like Just to imagine. I would like to imagine the one liner, the other one liner given to Lawrence from uh, from Kersey would have been. I wonder how you're gonna live without your radio. <laughs> Mama said, "Shoot you up." Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. better yet, better yet. Shout out, shout out to Lawrence Fishburne that told Michael Winter to his fucking face. Nah, daddy, the glasses stay on. <laughs> <laughs> those, some my, good ass, those are some good ass sunglasses. They stayed on in the middle of all that shit. They're, they're part oh, of my God. character. <laughs> say, stop. Yeah, you yeah. gotta say, Lawrence, for a nigga that got shot in the face with, with, with a rifle, with a, with a motherfucking revolver. <laughs> for a dude that had a Sony blow up in his face, I gotta give it up to you. <laughs> I, 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 I have Yo, to. No, no, no. That was the. Hey, listen. That was the real, sirs, sirs. That was the real JVC kaboom box. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that old ass fan, yo, busting your face like that, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I gotta tell you, after after I was done watching this movie, I I started mind wandering as I do and thinking about alternate realities kind of like what we were talking about before but like imagining other movies with bronson in the lead and like like the places you could go with that i mean i had i had one on the tip of my tongue like it was it was a really funny one i also i also think of other movies of other actors who could have played the bronson role in and how interesting it would have been but that's like serious talk like like I was thinking, like yeah, Tom. Lo- like, yeah, good. I was thinking like Tom Laughlin. You know, like like Billy Jack playing fucking. You know, like, Kersey could have been real interesting. Sounds weird. I got, I got but, it sounds weird, but I think Ro- uh, Robert Forrester would have been. Great. Robert Forrester in anything is fucking great because Robert Forrester is great. Yeah, just <laughs> I got, so I think I got a question. I got a question for you, uh, for you, Mo. Since you Please. mentioned uh, like other realities, <laughs> can you just imagine? You know, especially seeing how we're in this dark and gritty part of L.A. Sure. Imagine, if you will, old man Terminator. Charles okay. Bronson. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, I'm OK with that. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it would be if you want to live. <laughs> this ain't over. <laughs> Uh, uh, stick around. <laughs> Are you Siric Gunner? <laughs> yep. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> see? Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want I want fucking Chuck Bronson in every Arnold Schwarzenegger role. Chuck Bronson. Uh, that would be I want, I, I want fucking Chuck Bronson <laughs> as fucking <laughs> Co- as fucking Conan the Destroyer. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. <laughs> the crush your enemies and hear the lamentation of the women. Of the women. <laughs> Ram. What, no, is, Ram. what, what is Give best me in the life? Power to crush my enemies. Get to the chopper. Get to the so, like, so what, like, so what you're telling me is you cooked up a story and dropped the six of us in the meat grinder. <laughs> I eat, I eat Marines for breakfast. <laughs> I eat Green Berets for breakfast. You are oh my god! What like what the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> Actually, last, last come, on! come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, kill, kill me, do it, do it now, kill me. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come go on. The no wait, Mo, we come, gotta go come, come on, come on, Richter. You got what you want. Give these people a. It's not a see you at the, like, see you at the party, Richter. <laughs> see you at the party, Richter. No, we gotta go for the all time line. The, the all-time line. Like the all time line, sir. <clears throat> uh it's not a tumor. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. It's not the Oh my god! I, I love I love how even even though even though I'm trying real hard to do Arnie lines as Bronson, I'm still doing them with the Arnie pronunciations. Yeah. Come on, come on, Richter, give the people a. Uh. <laughs> Consider that a device. Oh my god! <laughs> hey silly, Eris, Eris. Hey silly. Remember I told you I was going to kill you less? I lied. I lied. <laughs> God, is, is, God, is there is there, is there a fucking movie better than Commando? I don't think there is. Why does he become a farmer? He has a couple of acres. <laughs> <laughs> See the thing? No, and because it's Charles Bronson, he doesn't kick, he just shoots you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look. Would, hey, Wrong. Look. <laughs> hey, look. Charles Bronson ripping out a chair out of a Porsche. Hey, look. This piece of trivia is, is like the least shocking thing ever. They filmed this movie in 44 days, and I'm like, I'm not shocked. No, 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 no. 44 days, and six of them was a rape and scene. Six of them was the rape six scene. <laughs> How? It took you 48 Again, uh, no, again. Why? Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got one. I got one. Let's kick some ice. Let's kick some ice. to see the ice man coming. Everybody freeze. What happened to the dinosaurs? Why am I Britain it? The ice age. Put down, oh, uh, put the cookie down now. Hey, look, look, look! Can you imagine Chuck Bronson as Take Alfred? Take two of these and Perfect. call me in the morning. Hey, yo, Chuck Bronson was Alfred in '89 Batman. I would have, that would have been, that would have made it right there. That would have been pretty good. That would have actually. What, Chuck Bronson as Alfred? Alfred. Bro, that you know what? I I would have lived for that. Bruce. Yeah, that would have been good. You mean tell me we hold up? We sacrificed Michael Gall for for Charles Bronson. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let off some steam, Ben. Let off some steam. Here, uh. hold this. <laughs> Stick a room. He'll live. <laughs> if it bleeds, we can kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I see you. I see you. I'm not into put politics. the knife in me, don't you? You want to put the knife in me, don't you? Come on, Billy. Oh, I'm not into politics, but I'm sir? into survival. Sir, <laughs> sir, sirs, please. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Please don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. <laughs> You've been erased. You've been erased. You've been erased. Oh, my God. <laughs> sir, oh. sir, can I please see your invitation? This is my invitation. <clears throat> Here's your, Actually, here's that's your a real good, Charles. Uh, I got a good one. 
here's your sub zero now plain zero. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um <laughs> oh, man, bro, <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Good, it's, it's, it's been great, oh, you, bro. I, I feel, I feel this is. I, I feel we need you for Death Wish Three, man. That's to be the one that's gonna have us like in tears. Because oh, Death I will, I, I will fucking come back for Death, Death Wish Three. Death Wish Three is apex Death it Wish is. for me, man. Like yes, four, four, yes. Death Wish Three is, is like three is peak. <laughs> three is the shit. Well, let's put it this way. Let's put it this now, way. When you ask I most people how many Death Wish movies there are, most people are gonna say, "What's there's like three, right?" You know, most yeah. people forget that four and five even yeah. exist. You know, so yeah, no. because you can't <laughs> top three. You really can't. You can't. The it's o- one, it's over the top. The fourth one did. The fourth one has some of the best kills you will ever see. <laughs> oh, with the with the with the champagne bottle and Danny Trails like, hey, what's this bottle? No, the fake the no, no heiress. There have been plenty <laughs> of mannequins and dolls in movies, but to see mannequin Danny Trejo. <laughs> is one of the greatest things ever. Oh my god. Have you guys seen that thing that's floating around the internet? It's the my little my little Danny. Like it's Stop it. Stop yeah, it. Yeah. Like seriously, look it up. It's amazing. It's I don't think it's a real thing. I think it was like a custom job that somebody made, but well, like that has to be a custom job. Oh, it's it's like, amazing. Oh, wow. I need someone wow. to present that to Danny Trail. <laughs> oh, he I believe he has one. Yeah, and if anybody would find that shit hilarious, it's Danny Trejo. That dude's got an amazing I mean, sense of humor. Is, there are so many celebs. I, would, I, look, I, I, would, I, I just thought, I, I just thought of something. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry. I had to go back to the alternate. I had to go back to the alternate reality. Oh no, no, we we need we need to hear this. Yes. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Again, we have to sacrifice this guy, but this shit <clears throat> too damn funny for me. I do not believe that we are alike at all, Mr. White. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. Oh, oh man, that made me lightheaded. I hate you so much. I'm still I'm still recovering off of your erased, okay? (laughs) I can't I, I really tried to pitch it. I'm like, okay, Paul Kersey being super serious as Gustavo Frank. Mm. Like, all I'm he saying was... is, I can picture, <laughs> I can picture Vanessa Williams and Chuck Bronson in Eraser with a fucking gun. Your uh, partner showed up. He was high. He's high <laughs> often. You can oh never work God. with a junkie. <laughs> <laughs> see, the more I say it, the more you can't unsee it. Go oh, home, oh. Harris. <laughs> Hey, look, man, it's already, home, enough, it's already enough that, like, MAGFest wow. has turned Dane DeVito into a shrine and he ain't even fucking dead. And I'm like, God damn it, man. No, right. I love her. I... Yeah, but if anybody deserves a living shrine, it's Danny DeVito. So, yeah. you know. So, anyway, so, I started blessed. Like we said, Mo, you are. <laughs> Mo, you have a living shrine here on Three Legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, look, he has. Look, you, see, friends, you see what's behind him? Dead you know serious, you really are. What? What? Bless up. <laughs> That's Yo, why I just said the Bless up. <laughs> so, um, so, um, so anybody else that wants to know, you. So anybody, uh, so anybody's going to notice there will be no live shows after this for a while. I mean, look, just for our little summer break, y'all see us in the beginning of August, though. Y'all will see us in the beginning of August. And just to let y'all know what we'll be doing, much like the beginning of this year, we're going back to Metal Gear. That's the next time you hear us, we'll be Metal Gear 2. So this time, we're going to the big shell. The big shell, the big shell, the big shell. shell. Or the tanker first. We go to tanker, tanker? then big shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that then. Yeah, the tanker, then the big shell. That makes more sense. It's me. Liquid acid. <laughs> snake, snake. I, uh, like I uh, kept you waiting, huh? Just a bad Charles Bronson does that flip off the bridge, Lance. <laughs> nah, Chuck Bronson would have been solidus. That would be that would be CG Chuck Norris. 
No, my favorite line in the whole game, Chris. It's me, Solid Snake. No, that is no, not him. That is not <laughs> not Snake. Stop impersonating him. Good Lord. Bro, oh. why are you breaking up? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2, um, just to preface it, Metal Gear Solid 2 as a video game is very good. Metal as a G game, fun. it's very good. Some of the graphics are still hold up very good. The can, plot can, takes a shit. Can, can, I, can, I make a, can I make a confession here? Go right ahead. I feel like y'all are going to hate me for this. I have never finished a Metal Gear Solid game. Not, really? Not one. Not one. I I, I, I I tried I tried so hard to play Metal Gear Solid that first one back in the day like six times and I just it just would not click with me I just couldn't do it yeah I was it's kind of funny <laughs> that you say it I tried playing uh, Metal Gear God two and two and three boy man the the controls I don't know how I was an ace at this game <laughs> I mean you know what Here's the, the controls ain't that bad but it's like. I, wow. I yeah, I go I back and without thinking back then, you know what I mean? Like, what? well, I, I feel the same way about the early Resident Evil games with the tank controls. Like, I think to myself, like, how the fuck did I play these? Yeah, see, see, that's why oh, I never, t- I will never, I will never tell some Gen Z kid, hey, play the OG Resident Evil. I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 play, no, play the fucking remix, no, you know. I, somebody told me something like that. I'm like, don't do that to that child. Why would you do that? Yeah, I'm gonna hate Resident Evil after that. Like, yo, fuck this game. Like, yeah. if I wanted a kid to yeah. hate a video game, I'll give them Bubsy. Bad news. <laughs> dumb Gen Zers actually fucks with them dumb ass games like that. No, it's no. Like if 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 anything, if if anything, go go back and play four. I mean, even four is a little clunky. Like the the GameCube version is a little okay. is a little clunky, but it's still like story wise, it's a fucking near perfect game. It's, but it's so funny. Yeah. Sorry, just to so, hold on, just just to confirm, Mo, you said you never finished. Any Metal Gear any, game? any Metal Gear games. Not a single one. Not a single one. Okay. Watch your back. <laughs> I deserve that. It's not a threat. It's not a threat. Yeah. It's not a threat. It's a problem. It's, 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 threat. it's, no, it's <laughs> not a threat or a promise. It's just more of watch your back. <laughs> just put it's it a, out there. It's a, it's a statement. It's just a statement. It's a statement. Like, just putting it out there. Hey, look, look, look. All I'm saying is, Mo I am not is imposing not... danger. I am just saying. Hey, hey look, it's, it's it's like this. I think people would get more of a kick out of just sitting back and just you know drinking, 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 and just watching the two and a half hour YouTube videos of Metal Gear Solid Two, and you're good to go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and what I heard from a fan, and I thought it was one of the coolest things I heard. Um, somebody said I listened to y'all since the beginning of y'all shit, and y'all doing Metal Gear reminds me when y'all did Dragon Ball. Oh my god, y'all know everything about that fucking game. Hey, look, I look. was like, this. I was like, here's the sick part. When we get to four, you're going to hate us because we're <laughs> going to turn into total fans and we're going to be jacking off and screaming at Hideo Kojima at the same time. We hate and love oh, four. You're, you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting there like oh, Vegeta. <laughs> Hey, look, Mo, my girlfriend literally, after she got out of our uh, Power Rangers 30th anniversary panel, she looked at me and was like, I know more about Power Rangers than I need to fucking know. <laughs> right? I did not know this. You knew. I was like, look, I'm a fan. What do you want? Like, like what do you <laughs> want from me? Look, look, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, there's defi- there is definitely stuff out there that I can, I can, you know, like – Definitely talk way too fucking long on you want to you want to sit me down and talk about classic wrestling. I will talk your ass off for uh, on oh, classic yeah. wrestling for me and my wife for a very long time. Me and my wife will sit and talk classic wrestling, all types of wrestling. Period, like that. We would do the same and just thing like that. and just to fucking show how much I love you guys. I am missing AEW Dynamite right now. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm saying. Uh, all I'm saying. This, is not, this is not the hater in me talking. Keith Lee ain't gonna be doing shit. I don't know why you. <laughs> I mean, I hate that. I hate what Keith's going on going on over there, man. It, yeah, I, they, they, I, they I don't they don't know what to do with him. They don't know what to do with him. No, you're you're 100 right. You know? Hey, Chris, if we talked about it on a working time sports show, 
irony, huh? Good mm-hmm. lord, I hate how I hate, look. This also, what the awesome. fuck, man? Like he he let himself go natural. He looked good. I I thought he looked. I thought he was pulling off the gray fucking great. He looked fantastic. And then yeah. he comes back this last week and he's fucking dyed his hair again. I'm like, come on, man. Everybody knows you got gray hair now. Just fucking embrace it. We. Even- my theory. My theory is that Tony Khan told him to fucking dye his hair because I noticed that everybody who's got gray hair has dyed their hair recently. I also and- sure said, you ain't lying. <laughs> Yeah. There was like, like I've been telling that to everybody. Just, I hate to go on this little tangent real quick. I told it to everybody. Tony Khan's going to turn to Vince McMahon in some type of weird way. We're going to find out his little isms that he don't like as we go. Okay. Right. Exactly. Like Vince. Like Vince doesn't what? like people who sneeze in front of him. You know, Tony. Tony <laughs> Khan. Tony <laughs> Khan don't don't like gray hair. You know. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Here's the funny thing. They both hate poor people. That's the that's the common bond. I mean, that's the com- that's the common you're, that they you're not together. you're not wrong. Boy, if you are poor and you touch Tony Khan, he go ah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my GDP is going down. <laughs> my Coke. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> He would say that part. He would say that part. Anyway, but like I said, Mo, I'm glad you was on this one. Yeah, and, of course. Um, like I said, everybody, we will be taking our little summer break, but it's not really a break because these two over here will be at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> and now so, with this uh, upcoming uh, probably actor strike, oh, it's going to be about the comics, and I am for one, am happy about that shit. I am all for the networking opportunities, the parties. I am all for. I am just all hanging out for, in the dealer's room. All D is all for the acid tub that is cheap ass motherfuckers that really, really wanted it to be an MCU premiered over there that ain't going. That's going to be. I am going to I, be swimming in that tub. I you mean, I got to read comics all, now? No. I want what the fuck all, is this? all of the smoke. Like, What's with this paper media? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. You mean I have to read words? What do you think of reading and those, are the, those, are the, those are the same motherfuckers who don't watch foreign films. Or they watch anime with the fucking dubs. Uh, yeah, the dub, it's like the dub argument. It's like this. I will read in current year. I will give it up to anime fans and DC comic fans. Because if you tell a DC fan that they got to read a comic, they go this. Which one? <laughs> Marvel fan. Shit, I don't like it that much. <laughs> yes, yes, you know your sign. It's like it's like if there's ten of you, six. Look, if there's ten of you and they were told y'all got to get a comic, four of you are going. Ooh, the other six. Do we gotta? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, and then, well, the only way you get the other, the only way you get the other six in there. Well, who's writing it? Hickman? Well, I guess no, no, can. don't do that to your side. Do this. Y'all got a mini series about it. <laughs> hey, man, is there a YouTube? A YouTube? <laughs> has, uh, has Comics Explained done a video Bro, about it? Or... <laughs> hey, look, see, I ain't do that to you. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, look, hey, I got, look, look, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to full on admit that a lot of what I know about comic books I learned from Comics Explained. So, I, and, I, and, and, and I, I ain't even. There's. There's 50 years of backstory shit to find. I mean, if not more of stuff to read about. I don't got Mo, time for all of that. Hey, Mo, I just made the stupidest mistake that most dudes in their late 30s do. Oh. I opened up the door and Gaines Workshop said, come here, young man. <laughs> oh, no. So here's, no. Me, here's, me, here's me. Here's me. Where'd the door go? It's gone. It's oh. gone. You're stuck here now. <laughs> Oh, my oh God. yeah, that's you that's know the Bibles of information that this day. Oh yeah, yeah, I got I got friends who play that shit. I I, I can't. That's too much, man. That's oh my too God. much. Mo, Mo. I used to go to I used to go to shops that I'd watch people play. I'd, I'd usually only stick around for about a half an hour because I ain't got that kind of fucking time. Mo, but Mo, like Mo, fuck, not, man. Now, now, now I'm not going to play the tabletop, but I'll tell you this much. I'm fascinated by this lore. The lore is amazing. Yeah. Got me by the balls, my nigga. I can't yeah. leave. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but um, after after um, San Diego Comic Con, very end of this year, this month we'll be at Otacon 
over here in D.C. And like I said, the beginning of August, you'll probably more likely be hearing from us again. Also, Working Title Sports Show will be really, really ramping up, I guess, at the end of August. And hopefully... Uh, D will stop driving around. We can get motherfucking Bam really rolling because there's a lot of B movies I want us to go through, man. Especially with um, especially Eris because um, he decided to, you know, say, you know, fuck it, let's do any, <laughs> let's do all this shit. Especially, but actually, but actually, hold on. Oh wait, what? Eris- <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 sir, sir, sir. When I said we were going to carpent, we're going to dirt, nigga. So you already know what I mean. We're doing. I want us to do the thing. I want us to do. Uh, 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 God, what's the other one we we were supposed to do? The older one, the older movie, man. Christine. No, we already did Christine. No, man. not Christine. Sorry. Uh, yeah. The fog. The fog. The fog. Yes, we were supposed to do the fog. <laughs> yeah, we're. I want us to actually, like I said, do all the movies. Chris. I need. I need. Bl- I, I need. Still want us to do. I, I need more. I need more. Uh, black. Black skeleton pirate groping and <laughs> like Adrian Barbeau's tits. Okay. Well, I need. Mean, I need, I need Adrian Barbo getting groped and her husband at the time <laughs> through the viewfinder. Yes. <laughs> do it, do it some more. Every yeah. movie Adrian was in. Get a little bit closer. <laughs> but Chris, 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 look at me. Do my move, sir. We're doing the big hit. Why? Because your boy is in it. We're getting rid of all the Mark Wahlberg movies that I don't want to fucking do. <laughs> so that might mean we might be doing Four I mean, Brothers. I mean, I look, don't four, like brothers should be, four Brothers should be a 3BG. I a think 3BG. that will be. I'm not going to fake. That might be up for a 3BG episode. But I mean, he's, that, got, he's got a couple of movies that are worth watching. Not a lot. How Four Brothers... Yeah. I'm Man. not not that, but look, 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 anytime he gets with Peter Berg, he gets us. all no, nah, no. Nah. Anytime he gets with Peter Berg, he just turns into Charlie from It's Always Sunny when they go all America and shit. I'm like, bro, oh, yeah. should, Rock, Mark Rock Mark Flag and Eagle. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm like, bro, like we gotta get the Boston Bomber, man. I'm like, bro, like come on, come on, it's for America. Hey, Mr. God, Goat, no, this is Boston. <laughs> but yeah, uh, also Eris, um, Rocco. We need to get our Rocco on, yeah. And I really want us to do Icy Lynn and Icy France and act all of that shit out like you usually do. But anyway, uh, that is it, everybody. Um, thank y'all for li- uh, listening to us. We see y'all in a couple few weeks. Peace. I want. Elle a partie.